been on I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we in steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel trying to flip it out the stove. Rockin' fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch them take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. Cut in my spot, I might crash, cause a good die young. Get a good die young. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young, cutting my frog might crash cause a good die young. Yeah, the good die young. Push it to the limit, can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You supposed to be just close to me. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Taco Tuesday. My boy in the building. He's up early. Three days of drops. I've, I'm kind of thinking. I'm kind of on the the cliff, uh, kind of a cliffhanger uh, on today's cops. But nonetheless, we'll go over them. We'll take a look at prices. Uh, we got some uh, new images that did pop up last night. We'll take a look at the latest and the greatest. Uh, and then we'll kind of uh, get on with our morning. 11 o'clock, they do have a CCS raffle for that uh, orange label, uh, black in gum, uh, Nike SB. I wouldn't mind copping that one, either that one or the white one. Uh, I would take it if, if I could get my hands on it. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll get after it today. We'll take a look at the Jordans uh, that are dropping today. There's a pair of dunks dropping as well. Uh, get into the roll of things. See if anything else uh, goes down. Uh, this morning, uh, we will have our windows open. Uh, we'll get the big monitor up. We'll get things going. Uh, we should be able to uh, get a sense of the inventory up on there as well. And that is how we're going to get started with our morning. Hopefully, everyone is doing well. Let's get it. Early in the week, we pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. There we go. All right, let's go. Uh, first things first, uh, going over here, uh, let's see what kind of, uh, dropped either, uh, early in the morning or late at night. We also do have these, those slam jam black forces. Okay. So I, I they're $180. Of course, the, the price in them is the price is a little bit up there, but what do you, what are you thinking about the slam jam air force? I know they're black on black, but. People make fun of that, I guess. Uh, you know, you hear a lot of jokes, but I'm not hating these. Uh, they got the uh, upside down uh, logo on the back. Of course, we got the old Montreal bagel. All the bagel lovers out there, this is your morning. Hey, instead of tacos, we eating bagels. Cook it up. Uh, we on the stove, getting after it. 8.20 in the morning. We are about 39 minutes uh, from the first drop. But, yeah, let's take a look at these. Uh, let's take a look at these slam jams. I'm digging them. I'm kind of digging them. I, even, I mean, I only have, like, uh, two pairs of Air Force Ones. I got the Skeleton, uh, and then I got the uh, white uh, Primos. Oh, and then I got two pairs of the off-white, I guess, off-white mids. So, yeah, that would be one. Oh, and then the Stussy, Stussy mids. So, um, but I, I'm going to keep, I'm going to get rid of those. I, I won't end up keeping those, probably those Stussy ones. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, but nonetheless, um, we got these dropping as well. Uh, the materials on them, obviously, for the $180 price point. Uh, do actually look good. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I want to uh, drop the 180. I probably won't, uh, but nonetheless, we got those bad boys uh, going down as well. Uh, let me go ahead and pull them up here. Uh, we'll get a, uh, a, better, a better look at them. Looks like we got some grade school uh, Nike Dunk Low Let's, let's Dance uh, over uh, on... Uh, let's see where they popping up. That's Smokey! My boy in the house was happening. Good morning. There he is, Lido. <laughs> What's happening, guys? We getting after it. You know it. You know it. Light day, but nonetheless, uh, there are some uh, some things out there worth picking up. 
uh, at least in my opinion. I, I do like these Jordan 1 lows, but let's get into the Air Forces, and we'll talk about the Jordans, and then we'll get into the Dunks uh, as we get into the morning. Let's <laughs> let's get it. There's James Doe, my boy. Early morning catches the worm. Let's get it. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Um, yeah, let's uh, pop on over here uh, to the Slam Jams. I, I, I mean, the, the material here. Let me flip my screen here. The materials on these are looking are looking pretty hardcore. Oh, shit, my phone. There it is. Thought it might have. I thought I might have left this baby up on the, on the, uh, the bathroom sink. All right. Um. Yeah. They got the upside down, uh, thing on the back. It says Slam Jam on the front. I, I just don't. I don't. I wish they were white, right? I wish they were white. Um. I could wear them to work. Uh. I could bartend in those. Uh, although, uh, the Air Force ones, not the. Not the most comfortable shoe to be in for an excessive amount of time. Um, but, yeah, we got these uh, bad boys dropping as well. Got these bad boys dropping as well. Of course, uh, over on the Nike Sneakers app, uh, also uh, the Montreal Bite Bagels. Uh, those have been selling out uh, pretty much everywhere they've dropped uh, and sold out pretty quick. Uh, so those are also going to be uh, going... Live at uh, 9 o'clock as well. Oh, they do got the white slam jams. Yeah, they do got the white on whites, but uh, I don't know. I just kind of like my Supreme ones. The toe is kind of cool. Obviously, it has a different cutout. But, uh, you know, once again, they're, they're $180 on the Nike site. Uh, that little steep there. little steep. Uh, they did have a white pair. Uh, were they a slam jam exclusive? Good. I, I don't think so because... You know the price they're they're at like one thirty, at like one thirty, and and like I say, yeah, I don't, I don't need too many pairs. Uh, I mean, I can always use a white on white, I guess, or an extra pair. But I kind of like the Supreme ones. I'm not gonna lie, uh, materials aren't the best on them, but they're not the worst either. Not the worst, Foxy, <laughs> my boy. Good morning, James goes 180 for Air Force is crazy unless they're they're the Supremes. Even the the Supremes though, you know, they went from 98 to 118. Like that was a 20 dollar raise, and and that felt steep. That felt steep, but yeah, these um, I, I would imagine uh, the inside of them uh, looks like you know there's premium materials here. Uh, looks like. You know, the suede on the heel and the uh, check. But other than that, I I'm sure the upper has, has some decent leather. Uh, the quarter panel isn't suede or leather. The quarter panel is like woven. It's it's like a, a you know, I, I don't know what you would call that. You guys tell me. Is that some sort of a weave? Um, but, yeah, nonetheless, uh, let's pull up the black ones. Uh, these ones, like the bids are, uh, the bids are at like $80. I would say that these might be less than a hundred dollars on stock X. Yeah. No kidding. Good morning, Jasmine. How are we doing? There she is picking it up on a Tuesday. Good morning, sunshine. What's happening? We going after it this morning. We getting wild. Uh, I do like the Jordans, though, this morning. I do like the Jordans, um, the Concords. Uh, I think I'm going to cop a pair of those. I think I'm going to cop a pair of those. At least then if, if I want to wear the white and blacks, I won't feel too guilty that I would run into more than one person with, <laughs> with my kicks on. I hate that. Especially around here. There, there should be no need for that. Uh, but yeah, we'll take a look at those Concords as well. They got the icy blue bottoms. Uh, they are not going for as much on the resale market as the Pandas. I don't know if it's just like the the look of the Jordan 1 and the Dunk. Um, but these ones look that they have a little bit nicer materials on them. Of course, I, I'm a big fan of the pant leather. Um, you either love it or hate it. Uh, that is on the upper. Uh, it's also on the swoosh. And then, of course, the bottoms. I hope they're not like just a. I, I hope they're not this blue color. 
Like the picture on Stock X, like I want the bottoms to be icy, which th- in the descriptions they said they were icy on the bottom. But I don't I don't want I don't, I don't want them to be like that light blue color. I actually want them to be like see-through ice. Cuz they, they they just stick a little bit nicer. Super fire. I'm here with y'all copping today. We copping some black Air Force Ones. No, um, some black forces. No, we're just copping. Um, well, I'm going to cop these. I don't think a lot of people will. Um, but I'm copping the lows uh, for sure. 120 going to be the price point on these. Uh, then we got the old Montreal bagel. You know it. Uh, the old bagel. Uh, this one is uh, my size. Last sale, 160 These have been doing pretty good, actually, or selling out pretty quick. If you do sell uh, locally, there definitely uh, is a little meat on that bone. Uh, not a ton, uh, depending on if you wanted it for the toe uh, or if you wanted uh, to trade it out or flip it. Uh, but definitely uh, might be. Uh, it, it's, it's not a bad color. It's it's not a bad color. I'd like to see it in, in hand. Uh, but anyways, those are both dropping on uh, the Nike sneakers app, the Black Slam Jam uh, Forces, and the Bagels. Uh, both dropping over there on Nike sneakers. And uh, what else we got going on this morning? Um, we also... Um, uh, we got, it looks like, exclusive access uh, for the women's Nike Dunk uh, low driftwood. Uh, page not found equals no access. Uh, over there. I'm waiting on those uh, 9060 New Balance. Dropping on the 30th. Whoa, whoa, whoa. James Toll, which? The 9060. Okay. Uh, there's a 9060 dropping on Thursday that I think I might cop for the first time. For the first time, um, the, the brick in woods. Which one were you thinking about, other than the brick in woods one? I, I can't think of. Uh, I didn't know there was another collab on those bad boys. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's go ahead. Um, yeah, this is the one. I want a cup. And these drop on Thursday. Um. All right. Well, um, I can't find them on StockX right now. So let's just go ahead and bounce over here. And pull them up. We've had them up uh, the last couple of days. You guys probably are fully aware of these bad boys. Uh, but, yeah, the collaboration. Uh, these ones are dropping on Thursday. Uh, does anyone go for the uh, Concord, uh, Marco? I think I'm going to go for that one. Yeah, I, th- I, I think I'm going to go for the Concords. I, I just, I like pant leather. Those, those to me, are pretty sharp. I, again, I want the bottoms to be clear. I, uh, I'll, I'll pull up some more pictures here just so we can take a little bit closer of a look. Um, l- let me just uh, pull up Nike. Um, and let's take a look over here at the bottoms. Yeah, they, they look to, right? These look to be like cl- uh, icy clear, right? It kind of looks blue in some pictures, and it kind of looks clear uh, in others. Uh, James Toe. Yeah, those. Uh, this Thursday. Yes. Yes, James. These are dropping. These are dropping in two days. In two days. And then the Clarks. Uh, Salehis are dropping Friday. And then, then we get into the weekend drops. We got, the, we got that five uh, dropping. Oh, man. <laughs> Stock numbers. 90, 60s. Drop weekly now. They have been dropping a lot of general release colorways. You're right. Yeah, especially uh, ever since, even after the first Joe Fresh Good, 
collab. Yeah, we've gotten hit with similar colorways, I feel like. Like, lighter in the palette. But nonetheless, yeah, the year of the 9060, 2023. Uh, we also had that Bodega. Bodega one drop. Um, these are kind of wearing on me. I do like the insides of these. Uh, like the medial side doesn't have any of that green on the, on the midsole. It's just on that, the outside or on the lateral side. Um, let's see, uh, if we can pull that up and, and bring it out. There we go. I wish I would have gotten the Joe Fred shirt. Yeah, the, I, I do want the 90s, 60s. Uh, I, I thought I wanted the... The, the the bodega one looks good too though. The bodega one looks pretty good uh, as well. Definitely. Okay, yeah, the inside of the shoe looks like this right here. So it, it doesn't have any of that green on the on the midsole. But I, I the more I look at it, the more I don't really mind that green. I think I got a sh I, I got a shirt that'll match. <laughs> Stock numbers on the Concords. Um, let, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Good morning, Tyrone. What's happening? Good morning, my boy. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, let's go ahead and pull up uh the sneaker stock. Um, you got it. I don't see it for the Concords. Let me look a couple other places. I haven't seen it for the, the bagels either. Let's go ahead over here. Nope, not up over there. Um, let's go pop one more place, one more place, uh, else I haven't, uh, they haven't posted it yet, um, let's go back here, got the bagels, the concords, um, yeah, I don't have the stock, uh, yet, I don't have the stock yet. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up the uh, Concord. Once I get it, I'll definitely uh, put it up there because uh, we also have those Slam Jams and the, the bagels uh, over on Nike sneakers. Um, but yeah, I personally like these ones. I'm gonna cop. I'm gonna cop these ones. Definitely. Um, all right, let's go ahead and pull up the Concords. Pull up the Concords, right, right, going right around retail, just, just over retail, um, at least in my size. Uh, some of the bigger sizes doing a little bit better. Uh, twelve and a half. Uh, we got a two, a hundred and eighty-five dollar bid, two hundred lowest ask. Of course, kind of the same routine for, you know, as most Jordans there. Uh, bigger sizes doing better. Uh, twelve and up, twelve to thirteen, or even twelve to fifteen, uh, and then your size is pretty much seven through. Tw seven through eleven and a half, or at right at a, on average, probably about one fifty, one fifty to one fifty five. Um, of course, one twenty is going to be the the retail price on these bad boy. Uh, damn, uh, the ninety sixty blue is three forty five in your size. <laughs> I think we swung on missed on that one. No kidding, those have went up pretty. I, I like those laces though that the I really like the laces the um the reddish pair comes with. I'll show you. Yeah, for sure. The bodega one's pretty nice. I like the bodega one too. I, I, I should have caught that one, but yeah, both of these are the best. Both of these ones are the best. Um, 
Let's see where they laced up with the. Green laces. None of these pictures have them. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Yeah, I like these. I like these, Smokey. Oh, man, I didn't see the inside of them either. I, I didn't see the inside. They got the Chanel. Got the Chanel stitching on the inside of the shoe. Oh, man. Yeah, they look fire with that lace, I think. But the other color super fire. The other color super fire too. For sure. How much is this one? Salehi, they should have. I hope Salehi does the ninety sixty. I don't love the I don't love the model, but they look comfortable. They look comfortable. As hell, whoa, whoa, that's a high ask right there. What do we got? Yeah, three hundred, three hundred. Yeah, these are these are creeping. These are trending up as well, for sure. So are these. So are these bad boys almost at four hundo pundo now. The green colorway. Ugh. Yeah, they dropped a lot of the blue colorway. How much is the, the pink colorway? Almost at 300 in my size. Yeah, green colorway. Kicking ass. I, I the, the one that we're seeing a picture of there, though. If I could cop a pair of those bad boys. If I come across a pair at a film festival this spring. I <laughs> think we might go with the. With the cop there. Uh, you know where the Montreal special box dropping at? Oh, the special box. I don't. I don't. There's two different. Um, I thought that box just came with them. Doesn't that box? Oh, there's there is two of them. Uh, these ones are at 211. Hmm, I haven't heard, I haven't heard, I know they're doing, um, there was a couple stores that dropped them, actually in their store, it was first come, first served this morning, but I, I haven't heard if they were special box, or if they were, uh, just the regular box, actually, um, let me see if I can find that out, yeah, uh, but I was thinking about trading my Midnight Navy 4s uh, for them. But I'm going to keep the four, the 4s. Leather on them is good. Uh, the Well, we got the Military Blues coming out this year. That's a banging 4. I, if you would make the trade, I mean, you'd have another. Well, I mean, it looks a little bit different. The Militaries have, uh, or the Midnight Navies have a little bit more white on them. They don't have that suede piece, but... That blue color on on the military blues is abs. I love it. I love it. I, I'm super pumped about that one. I think the special boxes are for Canada only. Okay, Canada or, or Montreal area. Hmm. Oh man, we need some of those special boxes. Oh Nick, what's happening, my boy? Good morning, fam. How we doing? Big it up, big it up. Uh, we're about 18 minutes away. 18 minutes away from the top. Yeah, both of these are they're definitely coppers. Uh, going for the Panda Ones next month? Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I hope that I hope they put some decent leather on them. I think it'll be an upgrade definitely definitely from from the Pandas. Uh from the Panda Dunks, but yeah, I'm I'm going to go for those for sure. For sure. Uh, cop anything, uh, Lito? I, th I think I'm just going to go for the, the Concords. I think I'm just going to go for the Concord. Uh, Smokey passing. Uh, we got the 
Uh, let's go ahead and pull up uh, the Nike sneakers app here. Uh, get that thing ready to go. All right, where else we got things dropping? All right. Uh, just vibing in the office, uh, trying to get my girl some pandas. There we go. There we go. Well, for Valentine's Day or just uh, just because? Hey, that's a good boy right there. Spoiling that gal. Spoiling that gal. Getting closer to Valentine's Day. You know it. She spoil you, too. She spoil you, too. All right, finish line, J.D., top of the hour for the Pandas. Top of the hour for the Pandas. You're going to have another option or opportunity on Thursday, the 19th. Uh, they're going to be restocking over on Nike, too. Stock will be high on those bad boys for sure. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, get that window open uh, for, um, let's go, all right, um, let's pop this one. Pop this one. We'll get one of these open. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this. Uh, just five in. Oh, I think I already read that one. All right. There we go. Uh, that's going to be finish line. Uh, we can get points for the pandas and cop them uh, today. I'll, I'll be going for those as well. I'll be going for those as well. There we go. I was going to cop uh, the patent lows, but I just copped some fire red threes yesterday, so I got to chill. Understandable. Definitely understandable. Right now is the time to be picky. Right now is the time to be picky. Like I said, if you're not going to wear it and it doesn't have immediate value, uh, at least right now, I definitely would just be sitting tight for sure. For sure. Um. All right, let's go ahead. And open uh, another window for these. There we go. Uh, and then we'll keep Nike. Uh, we'll keep a Nike open as well. There we go. Let's see what the pandas are. Uh, oh, those treaching right now. Right around 175. Uh, for my size, uh, we got a nine and a half. Oh, 175. Um, bigger size is probably around 200. Yeah, uh, 11 and a half and up pretty much is, is right around the $200 mark. So about $25 higher, uh, for the bigger sizes. Shoe Palace is doing Insta Ravel, uh, for Panda Dunks too. All right. Thank you, Foxy. My boy. Coming through with the info. Um, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and put the. Our release is up over on Shoe Palace. Um, do we got, uh, I suppose, coming in. Is it app only? I would imagine. Yeah, not seeing it on the shop. Let's go ahead. Um, check the app. I, I probably got to uh, actually download again on the app. So let me know if, if it is just app only, and, and then I'll kind of figure out what I got to do from there. Uh, but I think, yeah, I'm going to have to re-download the app. I'm sure it's in my iCloud. All right, let's go ahead and pull down here. Uh, we got, let, once again, uh, we got, the, oh, the Air Force One, the Slam Jams. 
Slam Jam's also dropping uh, over on Nike. But it, like I said, if you're not going to wear these, even if you are going to wear these, I would hold off on, on the Air Force Ones um, and just cop them on StockX. I'm sure they're going to be about 100 bucks, if that, um, yeah, in a couple days here. Or, you know, some you can put at least put in the bid. I'm sure no one's not going to put their ass for that low, but the, the bids are only at like $90. Uh, for this one, um, oh uh, yeah, the black one there, highest bid eighty on at least on my size one one fifteen. So, yeah, they're tough. You'll you'll be able to get a really good deal on StockX, and that's saying something with shipping and everything, fees, all that. Uh, then we got the bagels. Uh, also drop in and, and the Jordan one true blues, which we also had, um, a, a bunch of different opportunities, uh, these ones as well. Uh, looks like sizes going for right around 130. Some of the bigger sizes, maybe over 140. Um, but, uh, the, uh, bagels are going for about 160 to, to about, one well 12 and a half the ask is 187 uh we're not seeing any bids uh really high highest bids are right in the 140 range uh 11 through 12 uh there's bids from 142 to 146 uh on the bagel uh again if if you're not going to wear this personally i would stay away from it unless it's a personal pickup which is totally understandable what are those colorful fives? Uh, those are the uh, Dornbecker fives that dropped last year. Dornbecker fives. Um, they actually went down quite a bit. Uh, they were at like 400 at one time in my size. And now my size is at 275, highest bid 240. I, would, I, I wouldn't mind picking that up. I mean... That goes down any lower. I don't love it, but I but I definitely don't hate it either. Definitely don't hate it, and I love the Dornbecker, uh, the cause, and you know, just uh, I, I think that's a super super dope program. Um, uh, right, we got uh, the Nike Dunk Low once again. CCS raffle today as well, uh, over on CCS guys. Over on CCS, we got these orange labels. Uh, if you do uh, have a local skate shop, once again, uh, SB Skate Shop, it can be uh, Tier 0 or 1. They got the orange labels at pretty much all of them. Uh, Pawn Shop, Skate Co., they, they usually have them in, in both both colorways. Uh, some of them still have that Pawn Shop, Skate Co. Uh, shoe as well. Uh, they did have them online the last two days, but, but they have sold out uh, since then. Now, uh, Benny, let's get some pandas. Panda, panda, Brrr. you know it, you know it. We after it. Let's show. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and pull. Uh, once again, this this is the shoe uh, that will uh, be getting raffled eleven o'clock, nine a.m. Pacific time. Uh, new and if you're out on the East Coast, pretty basic, uh, pretty basic SB, but I like it. I like it. Um, then, um, yeah, that's about it. Once again, finish line, uh, JD Sports. If you're looking out for the pandas, if you're looking out for the panda Jordan ones, those are gonna be dropping over on Nike. Top of the hour. I'm going for the Nike one. Well, I'm going for both of them, but um, let's go ahead and pull up the Nike app. Uh, let's get this baby warmed up a little bit. See if we can't make some magic happen this morning. A little squirrely whirly tequila Tuesday. Let's get it, Liddy. First dub of the week, second one of January. Uh, we got uh, Premier sending out those shoes pretty fast, pretty fast. I think I might get them by uh, ladies' night on Thursday. Hey, man, we'd be firing in the hole if, if that were the case. Man, I'll take that. We shoot right out of the windows. We shoot right out of the windows. 
No problem with that. We, we love the road hunt up here. Drive around and get them on the road. Get them before they start flying. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. No, I let them get up and fly. Sometimes I'll get them. I'll get the doves on the on the phone line early in the morning just to get the just to get my aim right. <laughs> oh, poor morning. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. That was kind of when I was when I was first getting used to the old twenty gauge. Yeah, my premier ship too. Yeah, they they came out fast. They came out fast. I like it. A little razzle dazzle, baby. Seven minutes out. Let's make it happen. Of course, uh, we just getting started with this week. Uh, Going to be a little bit of a slow week at the start of it, but we start really getting into things uh, come Thursday. Come Thursday, uh, we got, of course, that uh, New Balance uh, drop as well. We're going to have three days of these Jordan and Nike drops. Uh, hopefully, uh, Nike will surprise us with something, uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, right now, uh, still not in the JDQ. I got a couple of windows open. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Nike as well. Uh, three days of drops. Let's go ahead and open up the Concord. Uh, these are all going to be first come, first serve. Should be able to get a dub on that one. Should be able to get a dub on that one. Uh, once again, Sesame Bagels, guys, over on the Nike Sneakers app. Sesame Bags over on the Nike Sneaker app uh, with the Slam Jams. Uh, both of these going to be first come, first serve as well. No draws this morning. No draws this morning. We getting after it. Oh man, yeah. When those premieres come, those are going to be the springtime, the, the springtime wear testers. Oh man, we'll wear those out on the farm. See if we can't get those looking like. Hey man, we might wear those for hunting next year. Those might be the hunting boots next year, for sure. Kind of might weld into that. Yep. Yeah. See how many of you guys come up and and go, <laughs> come hunting. See how many, uh, how many uh, people we can get put together. I got to get a new dog, though. Guppy, Guppy can't bird hunt, so he's going to have to, uh, we're going to have to get a, a one, him a brother or sister. It's a little bit, maybe a Labrador. Uh, what's on JD, uh, Jazz? Uh, 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 pandas, Jasmine. Pandas are on JD and finish line. JD and finish line uh, for the pandas. Uh, we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time, guys. Uh, here we go. Uh, let me go ahead and put the link uh, in the chat. Uh, once again, the Jordan 1 Lows and the True Blues are going to be on the regular Nike app. The Sesame Bagels and the Slam Jam Air Force Ones are going to be on the Nike Sneakers app. JD Sports and Finish Line uh, has the Pandas. And the link, the link is uh, the link is now in there. Uh, that's JD Sports, and then here's the finish line link. These these are for the pandas. These are for the pandas. Pandas going down at the top. Pandas going down at the top. We're about four minutes away. Uh, we're about four minutes away. Still am not in my queue yet. Um, we're gonna uh, keep JD. There we go. I'm queued up. Queued up, guys. Queues open. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull open my shit. My JD Sports app. I can't find it. I can't find it. Son of a gun. All oh, right, there it is. Boom. All right, we got uh, a couple of those open. I I do got another window over here on the laptop. Um, then we got one on the main computer. Um, and then, um, yeah, top of the hour, of course, uh, over on, on Nike. I think I'm just going to go for the Concords. The Concords, of course, the Pandas that we got windows open for, and then that's it. That's all I'm going for. Just the Pandas and the Concords. Pandas and Concords. Uh, Jingles, uh, going for the bagels. I, I am not Jingles. I'm not going to personally go for the bagels. We're going to try to get a dub on, on the Jordan 1 lows. Uh, these, these black and white concords with the icy bottoms. Little patent leather there. 
That'll be the first patent shoe of the season. Last patent one we got was the Cherry 11s. Love those. Love those. That was my, uh, the, the Midnight Navy 11s were the first 11 I ever got that didn't have the patent leather on them. Hey, man, we're making money moves. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Trying to move up in this world. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get it going. First drop. Remember, guys, a little bit later today, uh, CCS Raffle, uh, 9 o'clock. So if you can't uh, get either one of these black and white shoes, that one's a banger as well. Of course, that one's got the gum bottoms. Uh, we're about two minutes away. Uh, we are about two minutes away. All right, let's go ahead and pop over here. Um, once again, JD, you should be queued up. Queued up over at JD. I feel like I should open up one more window. Uh, one more window for JD. All right. I was sampling some uh, instrumentals last night. I think I found a pretty good one. I just, uh, yeah. I think I would rather work with a couple different producers to find to find a good sound um but but pretty limited at least uh with the people I met uh up here uh midnight elevens are so comfortable those look so good smoky I still haven't had them with a fit yet I still haven't had them on okay here we go um we're, we're still kind of in and out over on j d uh, we got a Safari link, and then we we are uh, live in app. Uh, there we go, there we go. All right, nine o'clock, nine o'clock live. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. We're spinning here. I'm just over on Nike. One twenty gonna be the total. Uh, 120 going to be the total there. Uh, we're pending. We're pending. You'll see it there first. I uh, might rock them again this weekend. Hey, send the drip picks. Send the drip picks so I can figure out what pants I'm going to wear with them. I think they'll look good with my, my those green pants I just got. And, and jeans. And just some ripped up jeans on the bottom, I feel like. Old school. <laughs> For sure. For sure. All right, um, yeah, still queued up. Still queued up on, on Jay. Uh, we're waiting. In line for the Jordan 1 low. Let's get it, Jinx. Me too. Touche. That makes two of us. We're pending over there. I mean, I, I'm feeling like I'm going to get the dub. I'm feeling like I'm going to get that dub right there. We'll pick that up. Um, but, yeah, we're still waiting on JD. Uh, all my accounts, pretty much. All my accounts. Uh, we're, we're still waiting to get in there. Oh, I think we might get in here, guys. There we go. I see the I see the line moving. Oh man, never mind. Never mind. They kicked us out. They kicked us out. Oh. Oh. All right. All right. Pending. Got him. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I might have a surprise today. There we go. Um, yeah, we're still pending on it. Um, over here, uh, beans, it's on Nike. I only can put in, I only can put in one of my accounts. I have really good luck over on Nike, so I'm definitely expecting a W over there. I'd be stunned if I didn't get that dub. I'd be stunned if I didn't get that dub. Um, yeah, there we go. We're still, still waiting over here. Come on now. Big dub, no whammy. Let's go. Pinky's up for good luck. Pinky's up for good luck. Mm. Oh, some good coffee. Oh, man. Yeah, we're still spinning. Spinning and not winning right now. 
Uh, trying to finesse our way up to the front of the line here. Uh, going back and forth. We got anything else we should be looking out for? We got anything else we should be looking out for? All right. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and go over to the big board. Um, got, uh, oh shit, some, uh, also, uh, on Nike US, the Air Max Penny, uh, faded spruce, uh, colorway, I don't love that, I don't love that, the Penny one, faded spruce, I got some grade schools, uh, still of that Jordan, uh, one, uh, that dropped, uh, over the weekend, uh, you guys knew that, uh, True Blues, we still waiting on over there. Still waiting on the Nike Sneakers app? Anyone pop a dub over on the bagels? The sesames? Sheesh. All right, yeah, we're still uh, still pending over here. Definitely making us wait a little bit. As if... As if we're not going to get this dub. All right. Um, yep, that's about it. Over on finish line, we got the pandas. Let's go ahead and pop over here. Let's see what else we got. Um, that's about it. That's about it. Uh, just women's size on the pandas, so make sure that you guys double check your, your sizes. I like the faded spruce color, just not a big fan of the penny. I, I like, the, the really the only pennies I like are the, the, the home in a way. Um, Orlando, you know, home and away, but I didn't love that collaboration that I picked up on him, but I, I do love just, just the OG colorways. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't love the shoe. Um, I didn't mind that the social status collab on, on the penny too. I would have probably caught that one. It had not had I not copped that penny one and not been disappointed. Need to retro the foams. Yes. Yeah, I've never had a pair of foams. I've never had a pair of foams. Never. Uh, these edibles. Oh, so how, how do I enter? Um, Where you at, my boy? Where you at, my boy? Um, are you trying to get the pandas? Um, if you want to get any of the Nike stuff or um, the Jordans. Sorry. If you want either of the Jordans, the True Blues, or these Concords, the one I'm going for, that's over on the regular Nike app. Then on the Nike Sneakers app, uh, we have the Sesame Bagels, and then we have the Slam Jam Black Air Force Ones. Those are both live right now. I'm, I'm still waiting for the dub. Then over on JD and Finish Line, we have we have the Pandas in, in women's sizing. Uh, over there, but I, I I haven't been able to get cook through uh, the the queue yet. I haven't been able to cook through the queue on any of my. I got one one there, two on here, and then one on uh, the main computer that you guys see on there for sure. I I want a pair of pink foams. Right as pink foams. Oh man, yeah, we're still pending. Still pending over on Nike. You guys will see it here first. We'll see it here first. For sure. Let's get it. Once again, good luck. Uh, send it out. Good luck and good vibes your way. Dang. Uh, no one, no one uh, has gotten a dub yet. Yeah, it's taken a little while this morning. Taking a pretty minute, that's for sure. Nope. Yeah, it's still on JD. You guys still pending? I am. I am, Lido. Uh, I feel like I'm pending on everything. Yep. Oh, we're on Nike. Pending! 
First dub on Nike of the year. Big money, no whammy. We got it. Yo, let's get it. Madre de Dios. There we go, big dub, big dub. There we go. What's happening? <laughs> the Nike server's still on vacation. Oh, man. He's dancing it off. No kidding. We busted him out. <laughs> Congrats. Hey, appreciate it. I needed one. I needed one for the team. That is for sure. Needed one for the team. On the Jordan. I hit also, baby. Jingles with the dub. Boom. <laughs> Let's go. One in a million. 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 Congrats on the dub. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Congrats on that one. Uh, I haven't been able to get through on uh I haven't been able to get through on JD. Man, that was a late dub. Uh Lito, well, how'd you do? Are they starting to come through? At least the Nike one did there. Oh, the Concords. The Concords. We got Buzz. Get <laughs> Absolutely get it. I'm a little bit worried. I'm wondering uh, the, the the little Uzi song in the background, but it's, it's <laughs> it psychs me up whenever I hear it. For sure. Just want to get up and dance. <laughs> Start jumping like Buzz. Yeah, he was getting it, man. Getting it in. <laughs> For sure. Oh, man. There we go. There we go. Wow. We haven't gotten one. I'm not going to lie. Nike, my Nike. I haven't gotten one from Nike in a long time. It's been two months. It's been two months because, remember, we had so many bangers at the end of, at the, basically at the end, well, right before Christmas. So it's been, and I didn't, I don't think I hit in December. I don't think I hit on Nike in December. Oh, wild. Yeah, also our Ame Leandors. Ame Leandors are going to be coming in like next month. So that's kind of a W in a weird way, even though it, I feel like when they actually did the draw, it's, it's been a, quite, a, quite a little while. So it'll be kind of nice to get those in. I'm not going to lie. Yep, the Nifty 550s. The Amis. I wish I would have gotten both the colorways in my size, though. I did get the, the purple colorway in a, a size 7 and a half. 7 and a half. Um, but it is doing a lot better um, on the on the resale market in that 7 and a half. Uh, like the smaller sizes on that purple. So um, I, I'll probably keep the brown one. I'll probably, I got the gray one as well. I got the gray one as well. I had the red and the navy one, but I, I sold that one. I didn't love that one. I don't... Yeah. I should have copped all three colorways, actually. Uh, I haven't hit since uh, those uh, blue Kentucky dunks. Oh, those are good ones. The EA. You know it. You know it. Hey, man. Uh, uh, the app is warming up. Warming up. We are nifty 550s. You know it. You know it. Uh, three colorways. Uh, is anyone else still waiting for their armies? Um, we got to five. I I just got the the um, I just got these ones. I got the gray suede ones. I got these recently. I I think I want to get a pair of uh like a blue that matches the the tongue on these. We'll see. Might just leave those in there. But yeah, I got this colorway coming. I got that colorway coming, and then I got the old perps, the old purples um, right here. I got these in a seven and a half. Uh, the ass are astronomical, but they'll, they'll definitely 
uh, come down to earth. Uh, and then there also was this olive colorway. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with that brown. I, I do like this brown. Not bad. But if I get my way this year, uh, the, uh, those Travis Scott, those brown Travis Scott fours are, are kind of on my radar for show. Uh, bro, my knock to Drake's air bubble popped in my shoe. What? The Drizzies? Drizzy's bad quality? Damn, the air bubble pop. Yeah, that's that that's no good. No bueno. You could probably send those back to Nike. You haven't even had those like what four months? Oh man. Even if you don't send them back, I would I would at least uh call Nike's customer service. They might replace that because I, I, they definitely aren't supposed to break in the first couple months. I mean, you're just wearing them and they, they popped. Sheesh, got a little flat tire in those bad boys. It's that K-Swiss. <laughs> it's that K-Swiss. I was thinking about returning. Yeah, you, yeah, for sure. For sure. Worst comes to worst, I would take him to Nordstrom if Nike won't even take him back. Then I would take him to Nordstrom and just say you bought him there. <laughs> Fortunately, they'll take him back, I swear to God. They might look if they've ever actually had it in the store, but they probably did drop the Drizzies on Nordies. I'm telling you. As an ex-employee, we took back everything <laughs> everything and sometimes you when you get it and then it was something like that like you know that they were a long time they didn't you know we would have to the stick a sticker on the box but most times when they had something that was really old or you know had worn the shit out of it they won't even have the box so if they don't have your sticker and then we'd also shank like on the shank of the bottom of the shoe we would have to like write our number on them which it sometimes would still be there if you had like a dress shoe they have a little bit of a heel so then when you like would write in there it, it would never get like worn off but like if it was like an athletic shoe then your your number wouldn't be on there so anyways you would you got to return it and then you know they they could only get credit you can't get cash so they would just buy something else from you but it, you know if the item if it was like a pair of shocks like we talked about um, they used to always bring back the shocks like like girls would wear them like uh, like there was a girl that um, was on the lacrosse team probably wore them like two seasons for lacrosse because they were at least two years old like just they were like green from the grass like the shocks were broken on them and I took them right back and sold her got the uh, commish on on another got about nine percent on a two hundred dollar pair so by helping her maybe, maybe made a quick twenty <laughs> hey that was a lot for me at the time. I'll take it. I'll return it. Yeah, but I, I would definitely call Nike for sure. Uh, start a claim. Because uh, you won't be able to actually go, you know, within like 60 days. If you have an item, you can go right into your your list uh, over on Nike sneakers. And then, you you know, you would, you would hit your purchase history. Um, you know, you would scroll down and then you know, the, your purchase history would be down there. Um, and then that item, if it's within the return date, you can actually start the return, obviously, um, within the app. But Beans, you can't do that. Yeah, customer service, send them some pictures. They'll take care of you. Yeah, they, they would definitely take care of that, for sure. For sure. I would I would take the time to, to do that. For sure. And then you can tell us, you know, keep us, uh, you know, kind of up to date what happened. But I, I think you definitely, definitely got to let them know. Because um, it, it just happened naturally. Well, even if it didn't, I mean, unless you actually, like, <laughs> stabbed it or something, obviously. But, yeah, they, they, they'll take care of that. I'd be surprised. I'd be baffled if they didn't. <laughs> just baffled. All right, um, what else we got going on? What else? We, anyone Anyone cop the old bagels? Lito, how'd you do? Did, did you get that dub? Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm kind of pumped about these. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of pumped about these. I still haven't been able to get through on JD, though. Well, I haven't really been looking, but 
you guys should have, you guys would have told me, right? <laughs> you can't really see the app. There we go. Um, yeah, we're, we're not through there. Uh, should I hit him up on Nike? Uh, bro, I was walking around and it, it popped. I got a flat tire. Jeez, did you have to pull over and, and bring the jack out and get her changed? <laughs> bring up like a Yeezy slide or something. <laughs> no, I just drove her flat home. <laughs> God damn, that's so uncomfortable too when that happens. Yeah, you're calling. Um, let's see. You're gonna call. Or not call. You'll probably have to uh help. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go to help and then we're gonna go. Do Nike shoes have a warranty? Um we stand behind all of our shoes and gear. Uh, if your Nike shoes or apparel develop a material or workmanship flaw within two years of the manufacturer date, we want to get you back in the game. So basically, they want to fix your flat. They want to fix your tire, which is great. Let them do it. Patch her up. Patch her up. They used to call me Patches. They used to call me Patches. When I'd fall down, I used to scrape my well one time. I was snowboarding. Well, this is a time when I was skiing. I had ski boots on. I accidentally fell down the stairs. Uh, the stairs were, like, graded. Anyways, I hit my knees and both of my knees. Like, I needed knee pads. Anyways, I had these big patches on both of my knees, and then that was kind of my nickname for that time. <laughs> Old patches. <laughs> I was thinking about the Jordan 1 low, but hesitated to buy. Oh, Lito. Oh, you passed her up, huh? Hey, it's understandable. It's understandable. But, yeah, um, two-year warranty, guys, just to let everyone else know, too. Um, but here we go. Uh, Nike, please return your shoes to the original place of purchase. Uh, we work with authorized retailers to accept returns for products with material. So, yeah, if you bought them wherever you bought them, I mean, I would just... Uh, you can file a claim. if Yeah, if the retailer has referred you back to Nike, you can file a claim. I'm not sure where you bought them. But, yeah, there's a place right here under uh, help on the top. You click this little thing called help, and then you can file this claim. So if you bought it from a third-party store or whatnot, e either way, I, I would file that claim. Eric, yo, my boy. So big finesse. Let's get it. Yo, big money, no whammy. We got it. One in a million. 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 Big dog. Getting it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go ahead and pop on over here. All right, we're breaking that sound in. Seeing if I'm gonna get a hit. I might have to. I might have to speed that beat up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, get a copyright with the music. I think you gotta have it on a little bit longer. But hey, we got it. It's a good test. It's a good test. It's a good test. Yeah, it's a good dub here, Eric. I got through, my boy. Hey, man. He's sending out the good vibes, my boy. All right, we got a panda here. Oh, we got a panda in the 11. Oh, no, they're doing me dirty to the dance, J-Mac. <laughs> hey, man, you're going to see that dance sometime this year. Holy shit. I get down just like Buzz. I get down just like Buzz. <laughs> Hell yeah. Pinky's up. Pinky's up. That's going to be the song. That's going to be the song for sure. <laughs> hey, man, there, there's some shoes this year that are going to make me dance. I tell you what. I tell you what, good little warm up, good little warm up this morning. But th there's definitely some shoes. Uh, if we get the dub, that'll make me dance a little bit later in the year, for sure. A light one this morning, light one this morning. God, Eric coming through with the dub, my boy. 
Big finesse. Big finesse right there. I can't even get through. They're not even letting me through. Now I'll just have to be happy with the old Nike dub. Uh, did the Concord sell out? How'd we do over there? There's still sizes up probably, huh? That'd be wild if there's still sizes of these. Oh, sold out. Good. Good. Because if the Concords didn't sell out, oh, man. The only thing different about mine and your guys' is, is I got the icy bottoms and I got a little bit of the patent leather. Hey, man. It's like a, fa it's a fancy panda. Mm-hmm. There we go. They'll be like, oh, those just look a little bit different than the ones. That's what my sister will say. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> those look just like the ones I want. <laughs> oh, man. You know it. All right. What else we got going on this morning? Uh, about 923. 923. Yeah, we're still trying to... Um, yeah, we can't, I mean, they're only showing that the, uh, 11 and a half is sold out, but it looks like they're all sold out, uh, size nine, yeah, eight and a half, I mean, I'm going down the list, I'm going down the list, they're not showing sold out, but yeah, they look cooked, look cooked, our boy Eric got the last one, <laughs> he shopped them at steak, the Jordan 1 Low Diamond are still on my reach, uh, on the, on the back list. Those are still pretty low, right? Those are still pretty low, I think. You didn't like these ones better than the diamonds, Smokey? Hmm. Oh, man. I, I'm going to have to do a video on these when I get them. Yeah, we'll have to do a video and see which ones. Um, which ones we like better. I'll be kind of curious. It's, yeah, just, I guess the, the color is just, like, it's like a mother of pearl. Of course, this one uh, has, like, a suede upper, but I'm, uh, and this one has a clear bottom, but I'm kind of wondering, so they both have clear bottoms, but mine's got the icy blue. Well, I got both of them, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to keep, I don't, I don't need them both though. I'm not going to keep them both. I was going to get rid of my diamond shorts. Actually, if I got this one, I'll, I'll have to see what they look like. I'll have to see what they look like in hand. Cause the diamond shorts are really nice material. No, I like the diamond more. Okay. Hey, they look really good on too. They look really good on. But yeah, still they're still below retail. Look, it's oh no no no, never mind. One twenty, one twenty. I thought retail was a one forty on those. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, you should be able to get them. I mean, if you just hold out tight, you should be able to get them right around retail. That surprises me. That's a really nice shoe. A lot nicer than the pandas is is what's crazy. Like the quality of the materials. I'm I'm curious to see these ones though. I'm I'm curious to see the Concords, the materials on these. Um, I I again I lo I like the patent leather. I'm a big fan of the patent leather, uh, especially on the Jordan One. Jordan One and the Eleven. I I really like the patent leather. It just belongs on there. Uh, what size is my diamond? Um, I think it's a nine and a half. I think it's a nine and a half, Smokey. I'll have to look. I'll look and I'll, I'll message you. I'll message you. Hold on. It might be behind me. Once. Uh, yeah, I got that one out at the warehouse, I believe, but I believe it's a nine and a half. Either a nine and a half or a ten. One or the other. One or the other. I, I kind of started just buying 10s this year, or probably the last, like, eight months or so. Um, What you got? Bagel or Concord? Uh, Benny, I, I got the... Uh, I was going to say bagel. I got the Concord. 
Concord. Big fan of the Concord. Big fan of the Concord. Yeah, this one. This one's for the purse. Still can't get through. Q. Damn. Oh, you're oh, over on JD. Yeah, I, I just got through on the on the on the JD side. Unfortunately, I can't load any of them up. So if you're still kind of fighting to get through, unfortunately, it look, looks like everything is out of stock. Even though it's only showing like one size sold out, I, I I can't load anything. But definitely see if you can't still get through. Um, but yeah, we got the old Concords. We got the old Concords. I think people slept on those. Oh, and the materials are so much nicer than on these. I, I mean, I don't know what the leather quality is on these, but they're an SE. The Jordan ones uh, are an SE, so that that they're going to be a special edition. So I would imagine they're going to be like the, um, like the diamond short. Yeah, Smokey, if I got a 10 in that, it's a 10, I need that, right? I was going to say, if it's a 10, for sure. For sure. I, I got to, well, first I got to wait for the, the Concords to get in my hand, though. Because I, and just, you know how that is. You know how that is. Sometimes when you get them in hand, they're just not quite what you think they are. But I think that this one's going to be one I'm definitely going to be, be big on, for sure. For sure. Yeah, sold out there. First dub of the season. First dub of the season. Where we got the Concords at? I wanted to pull. Yeah, these are sharp, I think. Um, But, yeah, they are an SE. Oh, I can't even pull them up. Concord W. You know it. Did you get one? Did you cop the W? Yeah, I, got, I did get the Concord dub, though. I did get the Concord dub. Pretty, pretty pumped about that. Pretty pumped about that. Yeah, I can't see that second layer now. I can't see that second layer. We got the big kid sizes too. No, they, those sold out too. Those sold out too. For sure. I'm pumped about that. Definitely. All right, what else we got going on? Oh, the wear test. Uh, wear test pop up out in France, Paris. Uh, Salehi's out here giving away. Oh man, the white and blacks. Oh man, Salehi's out here slaying some Crocs out in Paris. Oh man, this colorway's like the best colorway. Oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, what she was doing is pop up over here. But if you're in the Paris area, if you're just right across that pond, go take a gander over there. Uh, 7 Rue Street, or 7 Rue St. Claude, not Street. 7 Rue St. Claude, 7503. I tried to get the pink, that, oh, you tried to get the uh, pink dump. Oh, man. Yeah, congrats, Benny, yeah, on the Concord, my boy. We just got a dub on it. One in a million, one in a million, one in a million, one in a million. Got him. Congrats on the pickup. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, there we go. Uh, so we got the pawn shops coming. Now we got the Concords coming. All right. All right, that's a slow start. That's a slow start. Oh, we got a CDG Converse here. Yeah, another CDG Converse collab. Almost looks like kind of the off-white font a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and pull up over under. Uh, 932 uh, looks like, yeah, looks like JD's kind of cashed out. Looks like JD's kind of cashed out. Um, these bad boys. Uh, well, well, was it the, uh, the the triple pink? The hyper pink? Or whatever? Oh, man. <laughs> the old Nike side bag. By Arnold Wong. 
All right. Um, let's go ahead here and pull out of there. Um, let's go ahead and leave that up there. All right. What else we got going on this morning? Uh, we're just at the bottom of the hour, uh, 930. Uh, looks like uh, 10 o'clock, about 27 minutes away. Uh, not really, again, expecting uh, anything today. Um, at least that's scheduled other than the, the CCS. Other than the uh, CCS raffle, again, uh, for those gum. Don't forget about this. Remember, this is going to be at 11 a.m. Uh, it's about an hour and 27 minutes away. These actually come with upgraded materials as well. Uh, even though they're an orange label drop, SB doesn't usually miss too many times. Uh, they got some cool anklets there, like the, the black on white there, or the white ends. I think those look dope. Super simple colorway, but I think these are pretty mean. I think these are pretty mean. Uh, there we go. Uh, two way colorway. Oh, pink white. Here, let me let me pop on over to JD. Let me pop on over to JD. We 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 popped through. I I don't know if I saw that one. I don't know if I saw that one. I might have already had it. I, the, well, I already got rid of it. The triple pink one. I didn't even sell it. I I took it back. <laughs> I sent it back on on Nike, cause you got sixty days. So I sent that one back. It it was. Literally, if I could have sold it, but it, I would have probably lost like five bucks, so I returned it. Yeah, it's only five bucks, but shit, I'll, it, every every dollar counts, <laughs> right? Um. All right, let's go ahead here. I don't know why these are not pulling up. Come on. JD Sports just whack. Um, I, I I am through on my phone though. Maybe I just gotta go through on there. Oh come on! All right. All right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. My. It, I think it's just. Oh. There we go. Now. Now it's working. Oh. I see it there. I saw it there. It popped up. Is that the one? Oh, the pink and white. Yeah. No. I didn't have that one. I had the. I had the all pink. I had the hyper pink one. Oh, and it was just little kids and big kids. Yeah, little kids, big kids. I for some reason I can't click on anything right now. Are you connected to Wi-Fi on mobile? Um Yeah, yeah, I'm on Wi-Fi on here. Uh my uh my laptop's on Wi-Fi, but my uh the computer I'm streaming on that, that's uh plugged in. Uh that's wired in. Anyone want uh jeans Levi's having a sale? Sheesh. What's a, a pretty good sale? Oh man, I bought a a ton of Levi's I think it was like three years ago. Three years ago, I, I got, I think they were like 40, 45% off. So I scored, um, some of them are a little bit like, you know, not in style with the, um, I think I got a couple pairs of 5.11s, but I also got some like skinnier leg, leg ones that I don't really like, but I like the straight leg ones for sure. For sure. I actually I like my favorite jeans are probably diesel. Diesel and and then Levi. I I like the price point of the Levi's a little bit better. But like if I'm getting like a colored jean, like 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 let's say if you want to wear a white pair of pants out one night or something, I feel like Levi's got got the best selection um of the colored jeans as well. Especially the white ones. Especially the white ones. Last time I wore my white one, my white jeans out, I had to leave them out. I came back home in my boxers. <laughs> my jeans, that's how bad my pants were. I, f I fucked them up. It was a wild night. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I had like grass stains and like if you get a little dirt on them and they just look like you like 
crapped in them or something. So, they, yeah, they just, they're tough to keep clean, to say the least. But they look good. I think they look good with some fits, for sure. Um, All right. But, yeah, you got to make sure you wear them home. Did I get the Jordan 1 low? You know it, Jinx. You know it. We copped the dub. You know it. Big finesse there. It took a while. It took a while, but we, uh, we ended up getting through. I uh, like Levi's and uh, Uniqlo jeans. Ah, uh, Uniqlo. I don't think I've ever worn those. I don't wear a ton of jeans. I used to wear them a lot more um, back in the day. Um, but yeah, I, I do got to get a couple, like I, I went through a phase where I would, cu I cut off all the, bo like a lot of the bottoms of my jeans and now they're either like, r like frayed from where I stepped on them on the back. They just look like kind of like shit. So yeah, I probably got to, I always do that. I go through weird phase. Well, there was one time I went through a phase where I, I would cut a, like I would buy a brand new hoodie and I would just cut slits in them. And I, I did that for a while, and then as soon as I quit liking it, it was like, oh, I had to throw away all those hoodies. <laughs> I got a return order for the, the the drizzies now. Good, my boy. Good, good work. Good work. Yeah, definitely. Uh, get that out. Definitely get that sent, and then you know, just kind of, kind of be checking your replies because you got to kind of be on top of it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then what they'll probably do is they'll end up sending you a free shipping. They'll probably end up giving you postage or whatever. So then you can send them. They'll probably want to know what's wrong and all that stuff. And then once you tell them about it, yeah, they'll work you through it. They'll work you through it. You know it. Uh, Tyrone, bro, I put in the wrong CV code and I got the notification saying it couldn't process my payment. No. Oh, my boy. Oh, the CID the CID oh shit oh man that's a bummer I, I I the only time I have a tough time with the CID is like right when I get a new card and then I like mix it up with the last card or something <laughs> oh that sucks oh it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be don't be too hard on yourself <laughs> that sucks though oh especially you know you hit uh, they said I can send shoes in any box. I don't have any boxes. What should I send them in? We well, should. Uh, well, I would. Well, you gotta ship them in a box. I would just put them in a box and ship them. Like it, it doesn't matter if you have a shoe box or not. Um, but you're gonna have to send them in. A, you're gonna have to put them in a box. I don't think you could, well, maybe you could fit them in one of those, those like bags, you know, that usually like, uh, clothes come in, you know, means you don't have a box. I would just, uh, either get a little box that you're going to send them in and then just put them in there and then just put them in there. Uh, with, with, I would put them in with your, you know, with the information, I'm sure they're going to have you print out, uh, the. UPS label that'll eventually go on that like they do all the other orders or like the regular returns eventually it'll take you through the process where they'll give you um, the postage you just print uh, I usually just print it at home and then you take it to UPS and then just scan it um, you know that that's really all you need but you're gonna probably probably have to put them in, in you know just like a box to ship them in yeah but but yeah you don't use one of your shoe boxes you, I mean, don't do that. Don't, you know, just send them in a, in a box. That'll definitely work for sure. Um, that's, that's what happened. God dang it. Yeah, that's the worst. That's the worst. Uh, and then getting all your, you know, all your computer and stuff to, it's a bummer. I, I've accidentally put my card on screen a couple times that, um, I unfortunately had some stuff hit, so I had to cancel them two different times. And, yeah, every time I, I always took an L on at least one or two drops because of that same thing. Either auto-filling the, the card, my old card, or the freaking CID, or mixing the two or something. <laughs> oh, man. 
for sure. Uh, Jingles, you may have to buy one from UPS. Uh, future reference, keep at least one, two box of shoes uh, coming. Yeah. Yeah, especially when, when they send the box. That, that's how I do all mine. I don't buy any boxes. Like, every time I, I send a stock X, it's it's sloppy seconds from another package I got. I mean, that. let's be honest. That, that's how it goes down. Um, yeah, I don't, that would be, that would kind of get expensive, but yeah, try to just try to open them up carefully uh, or as careful as you can. And yeah, obviously take off all the, all the packaging labels, all that shit. Um, for sure. Yeah. Do they sell boxes that size? Yeah. They sell them. They sell them in all sizes jingles, but they're like, they're expensive. Like they're like at least three or three to five bucks. Three to five bucks, but if you have nothing else, you know, then then I would just do it. But yeah, they'll, they'll sell them. Um, you're probably gonna go to the UPS shop because Nike will send you a UPS label, so that's where you're gonna end up going. And then when you go to UPS, they do have boxes there. Um, they also have like a little bag thing you can put them in too. Whatever would be cheaper. Um, Nike's gonna be paying for the postage, but. Um, you know, they also have that bag thing, uh, which means you don't have a box. I would imagine the shoes would actually fit in. But just so they can have a little bit more protection, I would just probably get a little box. Um, like, I don't know, something that's like, I don't know, like 12, maybe like 10 inches by 12 inches or something. Like 10 by 12 should probably be big enough. Unless you're bigger than a size 12, then you're going to have to get, like, a 10 by, like, 16. <laughs> I can put those skis in. Sheesh. For sure. Aye, aye, aye. I appreciate you guys, by the way, finessing that thumb button, pumping up the dead stock, getting us going in that algorithm. Uh, definitely gets our videos in front of new eyeballs. Appreciate all that energy. Uh, you guys banging out those buttons. biggity woo whoop de wop all right, 15 uh, minutes or so, 15 minutes or so away from 10 o'clock. Uh, we got no one that hit on the on the bagels? Uh, there we go, Smokey. Oh, yeah, he's got the 3D dimensions right there, next level. 14, uh, 10 by 6, or 16 by 10 by 6. Yeah, both of those sound perfect. Both of those sound perfect, but like you say, Jingles, just, just keep... I know if you keep a bunch of them, it's like a fire hazard. Not everyone that's got room for that. But, yeah, if you could just, you know, just keep a couple, then you can start stacking them up on top of one another and just throw them in a closet or some shit. Um, but, yeah, try to keep at least uh, one or two for sure. For sure. Hey, Jiggles is, is putting those miles on those sneaks. <laughs> I live in the middle of nowhere in the forest. Oh, it sounds... Sounds great. Sounds great. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. Well, I'm on the outskirts of the city, but uh, when I grew up, we were in the country. We were in the country. I didn't really live on a farm. I just lived in the country. Not like a farm like my, my grandma and grandpa and dad grew up on. Every once in a while, I'd, I'd ride in the combine uh, with them or in the tractor. Nowadays, the tractors are so nice. I mean, you literally got, like, a flat-screen TV, like, in the combine now. Literally air-conditioned, uh, flat-screen TV, a uh, little rest area, like a little, uh, like a little nook on, on kind of the back. You can kind of, like, lay on your side on. Super nice. A little computer, two compete like, the computer screen that the driver uses, and then they have, like, a little, I would imagine, it. you just put your phone on it, like a device. Kind of like the new car vehicles have now where you just plug your phone in and then it's just like a bigger display, I guess. Uh, we had really bad earthquakes here uh, where I live and through hell of stuff. Oh, I, I, for sure. For sure. I, I just hate like getting a bunch of stuff too. It gets cluttery. Totally understandable. Especially when you're like moving around a lot. I know when I was kind of going from place to place down in Arizona, uh, like during my college years, yeah, I didn't keep any of my boxes. Like, None of my shoes had boxes to them. There's no way I could have done that. Especially your first couple of years, like, in the dorm and stuff, and then you just got random people coming to party, and probably not the best to, you know, not the best time to 
have a lot of stuff out, like, showcasing it. If you don't know everyone, that's going to be there. For sure. All right, what else we got going on? Um, Let's see, about 13 minutes out. Oh, man, I'm kind of pumped about these. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. These kind of... Like, it wasn't one I was wanting that I had on the radar, but for a black and white shoe, because I do like the colors. I do like the colors. I'm just glad it's it's just a little different than what I see, you know, um, most people walking around in up here. A lot of people wear pandas up here, which is kind of surprising. Because usually we're like, you know, up in North Dakota, sometimes they're like, I would say like two, three years, like style-wise, away from probably anywhere on the East Coast or the West Coast. I feel like that's kind of how the Midwest is. Um, but now now that we have like the internet, I feel like maybe the last 20 years have kind of changed that whole game up. Everyone can kind of be in tune because you're kind of seeing everything in real time where, you know, back, let's say, 30 years ago or something, they you know, stuff had... And trends kind of had to trickle, <laughs> trickle in the middle, you know, like a big uh, line of telephone that eventually get to North Dakota and be like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, to wear with that. Oh, no way. We wear like <laughs> baggy pants now. But yeah, we would always be like three years behind it, bootleg, whatever would be hot. I feel like back in the day, but now, now we're coming around. Now we're coming around. Not much to say with with but with the pandas, but hey, I'll take it over the some other stuff I'm used to seeing. That's for sure. Uh, looks like we got some uh, other uh, grade school sizes uh, of the dunks there. Uh, same with those pink fuchsia uh, dunks over on JD Sports and Finish Line, and uh, looks like we got some. 550s on sale for 71 bucks uh, in that green night watch colorway. Uh, then we got, uh, yeah, still some true blues up there. Uh, we talked about the restock of the protection pack. Uh, they did restock in that gray colorway. That's how it was when I was younger, going to South Carolina. They're so buying on trends. <laughs> Probably still years ahead of even us. <laughs> for sure. Oh, man. Uh, anything else going on today? Um, Lido, oh, we got basically, like, the only other thing is going to be that CCS raffle. Uh, CCS raffle. Um, this isn't going to be going down until 11, 11 central, so an hour and 10 minutes or so. Um, of course, CCS raffles are usually about five minutes long. Sometimes they'll keep them on there for 10 minutes, uh, but... In case they ask any questions or whatnot, you kind of want to get through it a little bit quick. Uh, kind of like how we had to answer a few of those questions for the pawn shop skate codes. Uh, probably have to do the same there. Uh, maybe because it's a orange label, they won't make you answer any questions. But uh, just in case they do, just, uh, just a heads up there. Uh, cop them uh, fusion pink dunks. Uh, when I picked up my AJ1 up on Saturday. Uh, did you get them? Uh, did you get them for, for personal, Vu, or did you get them for? Oh, well, another grade school, or for your uh, little daughter. My boy, hey man, it's the best when you guys, when either here, you know, you're getting them for your pops, someone in your family, your daughter, niece, nephew. Man, it always makes me feel good that you guys are out there uh, looking out for one another for sure. Sheesh, is that Gucci on you? It's a bootleg. <laughs> For sure. You know it. Taco Tuesday, we got to wear the Gooch. <laughs> you know it. I, I, don't have, I don't have too many shirts that match these pants. So I'll take them where I can. Uh, sold them. Oh, they're, they're GS. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought maybe you got them. Picked them up for the kiddo. Uh, daughter's oh preschool oh, okay okay so those were those were a little bit 
a little bit too big. <laughs> She'll grow into them. <laughs> Here you go, hon. <laughs> you can grow into those. I won't have to get you another pair for a couple of years. I feel like that's what my mom used to do to me. Oh, man, especially when I was in, like, junior high. I'd be, like, a size 7. She'd give me, like, an 8.5, and, and she'd be like, oh, honey, <laughs> you'll grow into them. Just wear, like, three socks. Uh, that's right. That's where I get the uh, the the tightness from. I think. <laughs> Hate paying those shipping. Grade school. I was gonna get up for my daughter. Yeah, those are those are good ones. I didn't know they were mixed with the white. I had copped the. I had copped the all pink ones. It was like a hyper pink one, but I got them in like my size, and yeah, I got them in hand, and I I don't know. About to get one now for her. Twenty dollars off using that cute, my boy. I <laughs> get it. There you go. No kidding. Heck yeah. Steady finessing. What about these Vimeros, you guys? What's going on with these Vimeros? I'm seeing these everywhere. I mean, I think I think we gotta at least see a collab on these. I've never worn a Vimero. I have never worn a Vimero, but People been talking like they're the next thing, like they're like the next greatest thing or something. And Donna gonna have heat for years, right? Donna gonna have a better collection than me, <laughs> for sure. Heck yeah, that's what I like to see though, for sure. All right, what else we got going on? These are like this is like the only colorway I actually kind of like. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, sir. Start that 2023 stock for. <laughs> you know it. Hey, now we got. Yeah, we got to keep putting these on the list. Every shoe that drops. I got these Concords early shoe of the year 2023 for me. <laughs> Jake, that's a joke. Just kidding. Just kidding. Off to a good start though. Off to a good start. We got the brick and woods on Thursday. Uh, what size are you getting? Oh. Um, what size Vu getting for? All right. Um, let's, oh, we got the bodegas. We got the bodega Saucony. Okay. Man, I've never had a pair of Sauconys either. Are we copping or dropping? Mm -mm -mm. Um, I don't know. I could come around to a Saucony. I, I did like those fried chicken Sauconies. Ooh, yes, my boy. I did see that. We got the Jackie R's. We're going to be smoking on that Robinson pack. I'm telling you. Hey, man, if we get a restock on those, it is going to be trouble. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee, man. I, I'm telling you, I might be, I might be copping those, those Asics, those brain dead Asics. Yo, for my first pair of Asics. Hey, the brain deads, man. Two of two of a kind. I feel like I should wear more of it. We got a lot in common. Brain dead collab. You know it. You know it. That's right up my alley. That's right up my alley. Uh the pink. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like the pink Air Force One Valentine's Day. We'll look at the Valentine's Day stuff. We'll look at the Valentine's Day stuff. But let let's take a let's take a gander over at the at the Jackie stuff. Um, let me go ahead and pull that up. I thought, oh, yeah. Oh, you bet it. Jackie Pack. Oh, man, I would love to get. This is one that kind of flew under the radar for me. Um, you know, we got a lot of banger, like a lot of good blue shoes. We got the born and raised ones. We just had the Dodgers drop. We got the Jackie Robinsons. Got some good blue and white ones. You gotta be proud if you're a Dodgers fan. You got you got a, you got a good selection to to choose from if if you're copping them or wearing them with the jersey. I like those gray Dodgers jerseys, man. You gotta kind of be a Twinkies fan up here in my neck of the woods. Yeah. Although when I'm down in Arizona, I like to root for the Diamondbacks. 
Um, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's pull up the, the Valentine's pack. I thought I had the Valentine's pack on here. Oh man, maybe I took them off. Maybe I took them off uh, last night. Okay, well let me uh, let me go ahead and and pull them up. Guppy to puppy, get over here. Buddy, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Two minutes out. All right, two minutes. Uh, do we have anything? Anything that popped up? Um, all right, let's see what Valentine. We got like a dunk. Yeah. We got like a dunk. We got a couple Air Force Ones. Nothing great. Uh, nothing too great. Um, I don't mind the red Air Force one. I don't mind this one. I got that little, a little bit of that patent leather on him. There we go. There we go. But yeah, the Jackie Robs. I'm telling you, we got the Jackie Robs in the last uh, Lost and Founds up on the back end. I'm telling you, Nike, these three days of drops that Nike's putting on. Hey, they just need to drop everything they got on the back end. You know, we don't give a shit about these three days it drops. We want what you got on the back end. But, um, yeah, maybe uh, possibly over uh, the 20th, so maybe Friday, Saturday-ish. Um, we could be seeing those ones. Shockers up. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. All right, guys, we're about a minute out. We're about a minute out. Let me uh, pop over here, see if we got anything going down here. Top of the hour. Looks like we got a Legos Ultra Boost uh, DNA. Pretty nice Ultra Boost, honestly. If if you like the Ultra Boost and you just want some stuff to wear to the gym, these are on sale for seventy two twenty five. dollars uh, they're, the, they're actually like one of they're the Le Lego collaboration. Um, but yeah, seventy two twenty five. If anyone wants that link, let me know. Seventy two twenty five in cart. Good gym shoe. Again, we got the protection pack, Castle Rock. That's going to be that gray color. Uh, there's about uh, sizes 8 through 11. Um, we got uh, the 990 V3 in the gray colorway. Uh, still a few sizes available via DTLR. Uh, we got a couple mids, a couple grade school, uh, Next Nature uh, dunks as well. Uh, as we get into the 10 o'clock hour here. 10 o'clock hour. And there we go. There we go. Anything interesting? Amos gum. Shit. Amos. Amos. I'm, I'm, I got it. I got it. Oh, no. It's slow. Oh. Oh, we got the Dapper Dan Pumas. Dapper Dan Puma. Oh, we got the black one. Oh, we got the black one. Oh, man. I can't get it. I can't get it there. Swing and a miss for me. I'm going to hock a la vica la mole. Come on. What's going on? Ah. Son of a gun. They had the white one, too. They had the white one, too. Both sold out. Son of a gun. Ugh. Both sold out. White one sold out first. White one sold out first. All right. Well, uh, is today CCS raffle or, or basic raffle uh, for everybody? Um, It's a basic raffle uh, for everybody. Um, I believe, yeah, the CCS raffle, I believe was last, um, or you, you had to be signed up, I believe last night, if I'm not, um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, so CCS, uh, plus members, I guess, uh, they have in your email, uh, there'll be early access and three times entry, 
Uh, is anyone here? Like, I was wondering if I should be, if I should be a part of the CCS Plus team. Do we be hitting any any more? Are our chances any better? I don't mind shelling out. I don't mind shelling out the the twenty spot. As long as, as we be hitting some dubs. Like, even this one. Look at the, like, the materials on this look, look pretty nice. On just this general release, you know, dunk. But, but again, tap into your local SB shops. You'll probably have uh, even, you know, uh, better luck if you just tap in there. They've been dropping both of those colorways in store at, at most uh, all Nike SB shops. Uh, my daughter and toddler... I don't know what size to get in pink dunks. They still sitting. Yeah, the little kids grow pretty fast too. Um, at least it's a hard time for me to like remember my niece's size. It's e a little bit easier now that my nephew is like into the grade school. I feel like I'm. Those are a lot more easy for me to understand. Um, but once we you get into like infant to toddler to like grade school, they confuse me because they like. Go from like 11, 12, and the 1. And I feel like they, they start over twice. I don't know. I get super lost when, when I'm going, damn, sold out right at checkout. Oh. Oh, yeah, the black ones, it looks like you could have maybe, maybe copped. I couldn't even get them into my cart, unfortunately, but you got there before I did. Next time. Definitely. Um, uh, we got yeah, yeah, Air Force One, uh, discounted at eighty. Uh, once again, nineteen oh six in that protection pack. Looks like they got still a seven and a half through nine and a half, and a ten and a half. <laughs> Just missed it. Just missed it. All right. Um, uh, again, uh, JD Sports. Uh, looks like their orders going out. Uh, email and tracking number uh, information will be going out. Uh, if you did cop over there, Guppy, stop it! I'll bark at you. No, stop it! Uh, still got some of those true blues. Uh, looks like. Still got some true blues up. Uh, looks like the active fuchsia, uh, some preschool sizes uh, still available. Uh, that black hyper royal grade school. Uh, Next nature dunk. That's a decent colorway. That's a decent colorway. Only a, a three and a half and four and a half left in that one. But yeah, that colorway, if, if you have any grade school, uh, that one not too bad. Let's pop on over there. And puppy wants to play. No, puppy hungry. He he's hungry. He, that's what he does. <laughs> I usually feed him like right when the the streams get over. So like yeah, for like an hour he he used to chew on my cord. Then then the monitor started going black on me, and I had to get a new HDMI cord. Because <laughs> when he get frustrated, he would just yeah he would just chew on that. That was a no go. <laughs> But yeah, that's what he's doing. And and literally I've been feeding him. I I had him just once a day and he was fine with that forever and and he kept on walking to his bowl at night. So I've been kind of feeding him double, but he's been getting pretty fat. So I got I got to be a little bit careful cuz in the winter I can't like get him out and run him as much, you know, as I can in the spring or summer. So, now we're looking out for his little heart, you know, and then they're breathing. I you know I've let him gain it like he probably he's probably about eight to nine pounds overweight <laughs> as is. And then the summer usually gets like gets he's still overweight, but by only about like five pounds. He's right around like 20 pounds. And I, I got to keep him at 20 pounds because um, that's the only way I can fly or, or take him on the train. He's got to be 20 or below. And they don't fit in that in, the, in their bag. Like he won't, fit, he doesn't fit in the bag the way he weighs, like his weight right now. It's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough one. All right, what else we got going on? 
Oh, man. Um, we got uh, we took a look at the Bodega Saucony 3D, the Hurricanes. Uh, the Premium Goods, Nike Air Force One. Uh, we got another Salomon XT6. We got that Union one right around the corner, the 27th. Ten days away, baby. Ten-day countdown. Uh, and then right after the Union one, a week later, uh, we got a, uh, the... Uh, Tommy Sachs dropping on the fifth. You know that's going to be a dub. We're going to be able to get to get in and 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 get a dub over there for sure. So, yep, it'll be the month for Jordan One Lows. I'm glad we could uh, you know get her warmed up with this this panda low. <laughs> I'll come. You never see you hold it in your in your stream. He's pretty fat. Come here, bud. Pretty fat. One, sometimes I don't like to get, it, depending on what I'm wearing, if I hold them, I, I'm going to get dog hair all over. And I mean, I got a bunch of lint rollers in pretty much every room here, but I don't know. It, sometimes I just, that's the only reason. And, and he's pretty big and awkward. Come here, bud. And he likes to like sit like on my lap, not really like lay down. Come here, puppy. Can you come up here? There he is. Yeah, he's just chilling. Usually just chills. He's pretty easy to please. He's pretty easy to please. Doesn't like to do too much. Just kind of likes to chill. I'm like, are you hungry? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, there we go. He's all right. He's all right, but yeah, my shirts. My shirt usually gets a little hairy. I'm always looking out for the fit first. You know, I'm a little bit selfish. <laughs> Just kidding. There you go, bud. There you go. We're almost done. All right. What else we got going on? What else we got going on here? All right, let's go put on it. He's pretty big. Yeah, he's he's pretty fat. He's pretty fat. Um, like and then like the bag, you know, you only can have him so big because they gotta fit. Uh, you know, you don't, I don't put him underneath because he's getting older now, and they already have like problems breathing with their nose. So like just on the plane, it it's gotta be like probably to visit like family only because I I try not to because he's he, he's not good fun to fly with. Now, riding a train or something, oh, he's chill. Or, like, driving in a car or something, pretty chill. Uh, but uh, definitely planes, I think, can be a little hard on him as, as, he gets a little bit <laughs> as he gets a little bit older. He needs that first-class seat, I think. But, yeah, the, like, the bag, like, especially, like, on the plane, like, he, like, he barely fits in it. And then if the, if the stewardess is kind of a bitch, like, she, she won't, like, let me – have him like like I'll put him on my lap with the bag, you know. And and if she doesn't let me do that, then I just put my hand. I got to keep my hand in the bag, else he'll like bark. Not really bark. He'll cry and he'll like he'll he'll just <laughs> that shit. It's annoying. It's still loud, but yeah, yeah. Um, I thought he was a hyper dog. Oh yeah, no, no, Gup's not hyper at all. <laughs> No, Gup is, he's chiller than the other side of the pillow. He gets it from me, I think. <laughs> he's, he's an ice cube like his owner. <laughs> For sure. Uh, it's, it's, Atmos has bought his bed at Shoe Palace. I, I, I couldn't get one in there. <laughs> For sure. Atmos, it will, especially when there's only like one thing dropping. Sometimes you got a little bit of a shot, you know, if there's a couple things dropping, for sure. <laughs> Stay focused. We on it, baby. We on it. Um, about 10, uh, quarter past 10 right now, guys. Uh, quarter past 10, uh, we got at 11 o'clock, of course, uh, we got the, uh, the CCS raffle. CCS raffle at the top. Um, let's see. And, and right now, uh, besides JD... 
a couple grade school, uh, preschool, toddler, uh, different kinds of dunks over on JD. Shoe Palace doesn't have. Oh, man, they do have these in small sizes. That's crazy. Oh, man. A women's size 8. That is wild. I wish I could buy these right now. Look at how dope the insoles are. These are fire. These are coming down. Uh, Flacco. <laughs> Flacco goes, when you think I'm not watching, <laughs> I'm here. Hey, ghost watching's all, all gravy as well. It's all A-OK -okay with me. <laughs> I definitely dig, man. For sure. I appreciate you guys popping in, by the way. Oh, man. What the next big drop? Oh, man. We're going to have to... We're probably going to have to go... Well, I mean, it depends on how big you think the Brick and Woods drop is. Uh, you know, that one pretty litty. That one pretty litty. Don't let it sneak up on you. Don't let it sneak up on you. Um, we got that one on Thursday. We got that one on Thursday. I mean, tomorrow, I, I, I don't mind the dunk. You know, if we want to keep it a buck. I don't mind this dunk at all. Um, I, uh, let, me, let me try to find it here. <laughs> um, all right, let me pull it up right here. Yeah, so we got these dropping on Wednesday, which will be hump day. Yo, tomorrow, day of the camel. Camel toe Wednesday. Each and every Wednesday. Yeah, we got the old, uh, we got the old plants right here. These are, these aren't bad. I'd probably cop these. These are dropping tomorrow, but it's a big drop. Yeah, this is, this is almost microscopic compared to what we're going to be getting at the end of the month. Because in my opinion, in my opinion, I really like the, I really like the Union. I really like the Union Jordan 1. Uh, and this will be the Jordan 1 KO. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? But it'll be a nice little warm up. It'll get us kind of warmed up until, you know, for the bigger drops when they drop the, the Jordan 1, you know, I would say the Union drop, the Tom Sachs drop, and the Brick and Woods drop. Unless you're a Clarks fan, I mean, the, 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 the list can go on. But uh, for right now, I feel like what, what we're going to want for the toe, we're going to want these. Let me flip my screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so... Um, the year of the rabbits, I, I would like to get my hands on those. Those are just dropping in the EU. Those are just EU only. Uh, but the KOs for the foot, um, I'm going to get the Tommy Sacks to flip. Tell me to puppy. Um, or maybe I'll keep the brown ones and then flip mine. The ones I got. I, I really don't look, care for those ones. Them. Or ju they're just not my style. I actually like like the materials and stuff, but they're just, yeah, they they'd be a good like hiking shoe. I feel like like when I go camping and shit, and I think I would I would get more use out of the brown pair. You're the rabbit or, or playoff thirteens. Oh yeah, I forgot about the playoff thirteens. Uh, when what 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 day are those dropping? Uh, the playoff thirteens. Oh man, but I got those Soulfly thirteens. I mean, I know the playoff ones are way more nostalgic, but. Oh man. Um Yeah, we're going to I thought there was two different colorways of these. I thought there was two different colorways. There there was also a green swoosh. But maybe it was just a bad uh color hue in the picture we saw cuz yeah, we're just seeing Oh, one colorway right here. Uh, looks like the tongue is is it kind of got the exposed edges. These are going to be fire. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to these bad boys. What do you think about these, Wu? I mean, just for a low, I like, I don't like the blue. I just want to keep them like with gray, with gray swooshes on them. And, you know, yeah, just keep them for like a clean, almost a white on white, like white on gray pair of everyday shoes. That we can kind of beat up. But I do like the yellow detail in them. Um, but I just don't really love the blue checks. I just like the the gray ones. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave those kind of as is. 
Uh, most likely, probably uh, Year of the Rabbits or Playoff 13. Oh, All Star Weekend. For sure. For sure. Next month, then. All Star Weekend's usually like right around like the week after Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. Uh, Sean John, uh, they dropped uh, today. Uh, which ones? Uh, which ones are we talking about? Um, on Shoe Palace? Oh, over on Atmos. Uh, I think I'm. Uh, you're gonna pass on the Union Loaves, really? Because uh, they're canvas. Understandable. Understandable. I just I wasn't able to get like I don't have any gray, anything with gray on the lows, and yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for the. I, I got to get a closer look at these bad boys. I feel like. Uh, March, probably Travis. Uh, May, Spider-Man's. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of bangers. Uh, uh, definitely, um, you know, in the near future, for sure. I mean, just on the SB side, the SB Dunk and Jordan side. I mean, we're getting some awesome fours. We'll get that Trav collaboration on the four. We'll get those two SB Jordan fours. Um, we'll get the Thunder fours. We got the Military Blue fours. Those are all must-haves for me. All must-haves in, in 2023 for me. Um, and then uh, we got a whole long list of, of SBs that, you know, now we just got another collaboration coming. Uh, April April Skateboards and Nike SB. Uh, we kind of took a look at these. Another collab coming down the line, baby. Um, and then we got Nigel Sylvester. Yeah, we're getting, not only are we getting two Union collabs on the Jordan 1, we're also getting another Nigel Sylvester, but I believe it is going to be that uh, brown colorway. Still looks dope. Still looks dope. That'll be like my everyday shoe when I, whenever I can get my hand on those. I, I wanted these Nigel Sylvesters. I still want to want to pick those up. And then we got April Skateboards and Nike SB, uh, which we should see, I'm hoping, um, a at least a leaked image sometime soon. Uh, over on April Skateboards. Uh, I don't think they posted anything uh, quite yet, but uh, I'm definitely looking for this collab. Definitely looking for this collab. They'll probably go, I don't know, probably keep their color scheme. Uh, Jordan 1 Concord drop today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, Sean, yeah, I, 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 I caught the dub on those ones earlier today. Yeah, earlier today we, we were able to get a dub on those. Um, we weren't able to get the pandas, though. Um, I wasn't able to get through JD in time uh, to cop a pair of pandas. Uh, I was going to cop the Jordan 1 Concord for the foot uh, and then uh, we'll pair with the pandas for the flip. Uh, but, of course, we couldn't make that happen. But um, I, I'm a big fan of the patent leather. I think these all, I think the, the Concords will look pretty good in hand for sure. Uh, definitely. Hey, appreciate you guys finessing that thumb button, by the way. Uh, we're getting that thing up and up higher and higher. Appreciate you guys. Uh, definitely uh, helps get us in that algorithm. We are only one away from the big one five. Appreciate you guys. Keen say thumb. thumb. Uh, Como se dice thumb in Espanol? Um, Keen say, I don't even know, pellicula? Or no, that's to watch. Uh, fingers. I don't even know what fingers are. <laughs> I'm so bad. Uh, we got, um, all right, let's go ahead and pop over here. Uh, almost at the bottom of the hour. Uh, almost at the bottom of the hour, uh, 1030. Uh, let's go. Oh, we took a look at the Chicago split. We did take a, a look at the Chicago split. We took a look at those clot, that clot collab on that. Oh, Oh, and that's a Kai. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. This one, eh, I'd probably cop it for sure. I just like anything that red and white, but I just wish they would have just put a black check on there. Like, this shoe would be so fire if they would have just, you know, done a, a black bottom and then just made a black check. A shell. Uh, Jordan 37 Bordeaux. Um, 
what's my opinion? I didn't mind the Jordan 37 uh, undefeated collab. I haven't had the 37 on my foot. Um, but let, let me pull up the Bordeaux. Because I don't think I've seen that one. All right. I always spell Bordeaux wrong. <laughs> oh, wow. These ones don't look that bad. Um, again, I unless I was wearing them for the basketball court, uh, I probably um, wouldn't wear these uh, for anything else other than on the court, um, which they look like some beasts, but I have not had a pair. Uh, I do like that undefeated collab, uh, but this colorway is not bad for the 37. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of wearable colorways. And this one this one's decently wearable. Uh so is what you what do you think of the undefeated? Uh the undefeated 37, Sean. These ones. I like these. I kind of really like these. Again, again, for the for the ball court. Uh, you know, I, I I wouldn't I don't think these would look good, or at least I wouldn't think they would. Um, look good with pants. They're more of, uh, I feel like more of an aggressive, ath athletic, you know, the materials and stuff are going to just be better for performance. Uh, but, yeah, I'm a big fan of the 37s. We got some new images, too, of the of the new Tatums. Yeah, I, I do like this one, I think. I don't know if they still have them up on, on Undefeated. Um, but they didn't sell out. But they're probably cashed out now. Um, let's see. Oh man, a couple. Oh, I didn't see the SBs on there. Um, they still got a couple sizes of the pawn shop skate codes. Uh, some smaller sizes of the soul fly. Uh, got a couple sizes of the green uh, Bond OSB. Uh, but yeah, the 37s aren't on here anymore. Interesting. All right, they probably, probably cook through those ones. For sure. Uh, clean 37, not my cup of tea. Uh, but good looking on 37, right? That's kind of how I feel about those, for sure. I mean, I would wear them on the court, for sure. But, yeah, as far as, like, off the court, probably wouldn't get a lot of wear out of them. But there's a lot of shoes that, that I also, you know, would ball in that I wouldn't wear necessarily uh, just for personal, like, casual. Um, we got another uh, image of, uh, looks like, a new Jason Tatum. What do you guys think of these? The new Tatums. Let's talk about these. Let me pop on over to Sneaker Bar. Oh, I love the Jordan 12s. I love the 12s. All Mom and Yers in the 12s. Ooh, another colorway of the Penny 2. Another colorway of the Penny 2 there. Um, let's get into the Jason Tatums first. Oh, another colorway of the Jaw Morant as well. All right, let's get in. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's start with the Jason Tatums. JTs. What do you guys think of these? I can see like the Jordan 11 SE. Like the Jordan 11 SE kind of like eyelets right here. I feel like I can kind of see that or the inspiration there. Um. The SE. What the hell? That's not a Jordan 11. All right. Um, right. Let's see where we got an SE. 
where we got Nessie? Probably not in the top anywhere. Just for reference. Um, there's one. The IE Cobalt. I feel like the where the laces go. Kind of give me those vibes. The lace and the toes. It's kind of tough to see on that navy blue color. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's those those like triangle things. I don't know. Something's giving me <laughs> Tatum's look like they hurt. I'm trying to figure out if they go through all the way. Like on the Jordan 35. Like th this doesn't go through all the way to the other side, does it? Yeah, it kind of looks like the forefoot would be a little painful. There's the back of it. They almost look like a Kobe in the back. Like the back of them almost looks like a Kobe 6. Yeah, interesting. Probably not really off the court. Probably wouldn't get too much wear off the court. And those bad boys. All right. Um, another uh, colorway looks like uh, kind of a green colorway of the jaw. I would like to try this one on the court. I would like to try this one on the court. I don't think it looks that bad. I don't think it looks that bad. Uh, materials, if they would put some... Imagine if they would put on this the mesh of, like, the Salehis, kind of that honeycomb mesh, that, that bigger mesh. And then, you know, use, like, a really nice suede material on here. You could leave, I mean, you could put, like, a, a dope, like, a fox skin um, on the back. Or you could just kind of keep it plastic. Yeah, those shoes. Uh, it needs to hollow. For sure. <laughs> they kind of do look painful, though, don't they? Uh, they look like you would get, like, a, a mid-foot ache. Uh, we got um, some more Jordan 2s. Some more Jordan 2s uh, coming out. This one going to be called the Jordan Low Craft uh, in the Atmosphere colorway. Another Spring 2. I mean, they're going to hit us with a ton of Jordan 2s this year. This colorway actually not bad. This colorway better than some of the, the, the other ones, especially the, some of the ones that we're getting Late January, early February. Ooh oh, Bagel Dunk. I didn't see that, Smokey. Bagel Dunk over at Wish ATL. Uh, see, I knew they were going to run them colors way to the trash. Uh, uh, which, which colorways? On the jaw? <laughs> All right. Um, we got uh, Pharrell. Uh, looks like uh, another NMDS1, uh, Human Race. This is the, the Muabs, Moab, Moab. I don't know how you pronounce that, Mo Mob, Mob colorway. Uh, this offering of the Adidas NMDS1. Features a canvas constructed upper, replacing its usual prime knit build with bold human race branding in blue along the lateral side. I think it, they actually look better without the the prime knit on it. I feel like the prime knit looks a little too sporty. These a little bit toned down. You could probably probably wear them with a fit. Are they, are these pretty comfortable? <laughs> it's like the third color, right? I feel like none of the colors are are like Grizzlies Homer away either. You know how Jordans, we always knew we were gonna get like a, a white and black or a white and red, black, some kind of kind of mix of those. You know which one really looks good is they did a they had a new player exclusive curry ten. Um, Sour Patch Kids. 
Uh, and they, they redid it. They redid it. No, they, they, yeah, they came, the one they came out with was terrible. This is what they came out with, but they, they, they redid one, um, that I saw. I, I don't know who was wearing that. I think Jaw was wearing that. Or no, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been Jaw. Oh man, who had that on? Um, is this it? Um, yeah, it would have been from, from two weeks ago in the NBA. But yeah, that they, they missed the boat when they came out with these first ones. They look like shit. They look like shit, but they redid them. Um, oh man. Ah, oh, I can't pull that up. Oh yeah, th this one looks the one like the one on Steph Curry looks way better. Like at least this one you can actually see the little sour pear, like the sour patch kids. Now the one they came out with like like this one, see like you can't even tell these are sour patch kids. Like it's an actual official collaboration where you had to actually give money to the Sour Patch brand, and that is what you come up with. So, I mean, I give them props for at least doing this because don't these ones look way better? Like, look at the detail on these. On the Curry 1. Sorry, on the Curry 1, not the Curry 10. But, yeah, they, they just came back and, and put a pretty dope print on the top. I've never seen Currys. Usually they suck, in my opinion. <laughs> like, visually. Like, visually, not the best visually, uh, you know, visually looking sneakers to look at. Um, but uh, as far as comfort and stuff, uh, they do all right over there. Uh, but these ones, I mean, they just look like 20 times better than, than the first Sour Patch collab uh, that we got. So it's it's good that they at least did this because I think these are fire, <laughs> at least to play ball in, or or even to work out in, even to work out in. How Flacco goes? Adidas is pure trash right now. You ain't shitting. No kidding. The well, they have it. I will I will give them credit where credits due. They got the. I mean, about the only one doing anything is the Bad Bunny, uh, collection. I think Fear of God. Like Jerry Lorenzo, I, I mean, I don't know what they have planned. I feel like they've been working together for a couple years now, and we really haven't seen uh, any collaborations on the shoes. So maybe 2023 will be the year for that. If any time, you would think they would need it now. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it's uh, – I will give this still because I really like when, like when people do collaborations that they actually, like, either reconstruct the shoe or, like, do something – like drastically different, you know, with the materials. But this one that we got right here, I think, is uh, is pretty fire as well. Um, oh man, I completely went blank. I completely went blank. What was I gonna pull up? Oh man, someone, someone's got to. Someone's got to give me a little pickup right here. What collaboration was I about to show? Man. God dang it. I'm on a little bit of a lag, so I'll wait till, till it gets caught up. <laughs> till the feed gets caught up so you guys can tell me. Um, oh, yo, the, the bad bunny. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Oh, God. Just lost my head right there. Yeah, but we got the Bad Bunny uh, drop on. Um, let me open up uh, Nice Kicks. And and it's not like it's on a, on the campus 80. Uh, but if you skateboard, this is definitely one you, you're going to want to look at. Oh, man. I'm just having a, a tough time this morning. Um, there it is. Ugh. 
All right. I guess I could have went over to the Adidas app, but I think I erased the Adidas app. It might still be on here, I guess. Um. All right. Um. right. Let's go. Oh, the Breaking Woods one. Uh, Thursday, remember, uh, we're a day away. Tomorrow on hump day, uh, we got the good old uh, plaid dunks, and then we're going to be right getting right into uh, the old Bricky and Wood. Give yourself a lifestyle a lifestyle shoe there. Friday going to be the Slay drop. And then, of course, uh, next week uh, we got... Oh, it's not next week. It's Saturday the 28th. It'll be the day after... Uh, the day after the union drop, I actually like these ones probably better. Um, but what I'm talking about, like, is is reconstructed. Uh, you can see a, a thicker midsole on these campus 80s. The shoe's definitely wider. It's got a ollie guard around the whole shoe. Um, it's it's got really good, really good suede on them. I like them. Uh, I like. I even like the color of them. Uh, definitely, probably gonna pick those up. All right, guys, uh, we're about 20 minutes away. 20 minutes away from the top of the hour. If you're just getting here, guys, we welcome you to the chat. Uh, of course, it is going to be a pretty low-key rest of the morning, but at 11, we do got about a five-minute raffle uh, going on for those black and gum uh, Nike SBs. Uh, looking pretty good. I definitely want to pick up a pair. I don't love what he did, though. Like, I don't like this freaking thing around the... Um, around the heel, this padding around the heel. You know, you're going to either love or hate that. Um, and then he's also got it on the inside, um, which I would imagine feels a little bit nicer. I don't really like the look of it, but it's probably way more comfortable. Um, and it looks like we got the rope laces. Again, low-key shoe, but I'm digging them. Um, but, yeah, that, that's probably... And I and, and just to show it, I got a Kith collab too in the s exact same shoe, uh, the Campus eighty. Uh, it's probably really the only uh, lifestyle shoe I cop. I used to cop the Superstars back in the day. Um, I used to actually practice in those shoes, and then I would usually play in my Jordans. But uh, man, I always wanted a, a Landvin sneaker. Laces are I ah, Landvin sneakers are fire, Flacco. I I want one too. I want one too. What do you what do you think of the bad bunny though? Yeah, again, low key shoe. You know, not much to them, but I feel like I uh, I feel like they'll be a great skate. I mean, they look like an old like Etnies or Circa, even old DC shoe. You know, they definitely got width to them. Like I would not think those were a campus 80. That that's why I like kind of, you know, the the collab on them is they actually kind of switched them up. Kind of like what they did on the Forum 84, you know? It's always it was always cool to see like different stuff, you know, not just new colorways, but actually, um, and, and that's kind of my only sh my only spike about the or my only spiel about like the campus eighty is at least like they are a little narrow, they are a little narrow, and you know, um, I think even these would look good if they would have reconstructed these, kept the. The branding off of the tongue, that's what I like so much about these. Um, but definitely, like, that thicker midsole and that, that ollie guard or mud guard around the whole shoe uh, definitely, I think, makes it look a little bit more, a little bit more, like, chunky. Um, just gives it a little bit better look to it. Definitely looks more like a skate shoe. Um, and, yeah. Uh, basic, if it wasn't Bad Bunny, they'll sit. Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Bad Bunny got one of those hot followings right now. I feel like he can sell out almost anything, right? Playing on top of the... Was that Bad Bunny? Yeah, that was Bad Bunny. Um, I always... Sometimes I get Bad Bunny and, um, Jay Belvin... Mix. Oh, uh, I don't get the two guys mixed up. I just get the logos mixed up. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, these will be dropping. Yeah, end of the month, end of the month. But uh, feel like the Bad Bunny line for Adidas is um. Oh, they. Uh, I guess they got the Ivy Park stuff. I don't know if uh, on the women's side if that does really good for them or whatnot, but. For all the GRs sit. Oh, yeah. For all the forum GRs. Uh, you know, look at all the forums that sat. Lows and highs. 
literally. <laughs> yeah, Bad Bunny's definitely uh, been been pulling them out of the mud for sure, for sure. All right, guys, uh, we are about 15 minutes away from the top of the hour. Once again, appreciate you guys finessing that thumb button, pumping up the dead stock. Only one way to go. If you're not subscribed, you love sneaker content, definitely hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode. Thanks again, guys, for pumping up those thumbs and definitely uh, helps us get uh, vi our videos out in front of new eyeballs. And I really, really want to thank you guys. Uh, it definitely helps more than you guys know. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead. There he is. What's going on? There he is. Oh, baby boy. He coming in. He barking at the door. There we go. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and pop on over here. Let's go ahead and pop on over here. I'm going to go do a little... Uh, There we go. All right, all right, all right. All right, there we go. Let's get the bada boom. All right, we'll pop. Uh, people sleep on sock and eat. Yo, I, I haven't had a Saucony. Did you see that Saucony? We had another Saucony uh, bodega collab. I think if there's a Saucony I'm copping, it might have to be the Dega collab. Um, Did I see that over here? There it is. Yeah, bodega, the Saucony 3D, the hurricane. Here's a story of the hurricane. Burr, burr, burr. The man the authorities came to blame for something that he never done. He turned the prison cell for one time. He's going to be the <laughs> I'm sorry. My dog was looking at me like he's going to slap me right now. Uh, Prem start, uh, sales start. What time? Um, uh, Primo already started, didn't it? Shit, pre pre oh man, why, why is what? Man, let's get this thing going here. I tell you what. I tell you what, I mean, this thing is not loading up. Oh man, it's wildin'. All right, I'm pulling up. Yeah, the well, I like uh, my favorite Saucony collabs. Got to be the fried chickens. Got to be the fried chickens. This is bullshit. Uh, the old internet here that's wired in. Yeah, we're, I, I like the Brain Dead collab, but there's also an Awake. There's also an Awake collab. But that's an ASICS collab. What's better, ASICS? A6 or Saucony? Yep. Oh, it did start. Yeah, it, it's it's really kind of bad. Um, yeah, we talked about it yesterday. It's really kind of bad. Uh, for sure. What the fuck is going on? Unreal. Unreal. Some... All right. Well, Dean's my computer doesn't want to work. We'll just pull it up here. Um, but yeah, these are the Saucony Bodegas. Stretches back to uh, 2008. Um, when's this one dropping? We'll go on over to, to Bodegas uh, site right here. Um, yeah, the fried chickens I really liked. I should have copped a pair of those. Oh, they got the Dapper Dans, too. They got the Dapper Dans over at Dega. Yeah, these Saucony's kind of looking a little wild. A little funky donkey. A fool. Only had a beanie in my cart. I, I, I also did at one point. I also did at one point, but then when I couldn't find another item to add to it to just alleviate the shipping a little bit, I felt like I was paying full price for the, the beanie and... Yeah, we slowly walked away. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'll save my buddy. 
I'll save my money. My computer is completely fucking insane right now. Literally just not working. All right, we're, we're, we're closing everything. Yeah, we're closing down. Closing down and open her up slowly. That's all we got to do her. All right, let's go ahead there. Let's see if we can pull it up now. Um. Oh, yeah, I see those UGO and Adidas. Um. What, what silhouette is that on? Uh, UGO. I'll show you the one I wanted. Um, is it this one? Yeah, this is kind of the side look at it. Yeah, the UGO. Oh, you were going to show me the, uh, Saucony. Saucony. Um, and then they had the Awake. Um, A6 had a couple collabs. They had the Awake collab. Here, I'll pull them up in one sec. Um, they had the Awake Asics, and then they had the Sauconies. These bad boys? Nope. Yeah, I just saw them come up. Here they are. Yeah, they got these two colorways. Uh, hopefully Tremaine changes things. I, yeah. It's big, big hope. Big hope, you know. Hopefully that's what they hired him for, though, right? Pay him the big bucks. You know? I th I think he will. I think he'll do fine. I mean, Denim Tears have some pretty dope stuff. And it's like outside the box a little bit, I feel like, you know. Um, but they didn't make, at least on their pants, a ton of... But they already have, like, you know, d uh, people that where they probably outsource the materials and everything from. So on the design side, I I'm hoping. I'm hoping they're in good hands. I think I think we'll be Gucci. I think we'll be Gucci. Um, there's a denim tier sweatsuit coming out, I kinda like. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the first one I wanted bad. Uh send on IG. Here, let me look. What about the fried chickens? Flock. Um All right, let me uh scroll down here. Ooh. Okay. So kind of the the same model is the is the bodegas flaco? Oh, those are just those are just regular. Not even collabs, huh? This one's dope. That one's dope. Um, I, I I tell you what though, I really like that fried chicken one. I like that brown one. I really like the rope laces with them though. Um, I love these ones. <laughs> these ones had the the rope laces too. Um, I also, I also thought, uh, whatchamacallit's collabs were pretty dope. Yeah, these ones are fire. I wish I would have copped these. This should have been my first pair right here. I feel like. Yeah, these bad boys. I just do it as they was different. Oh, for sure. Um... 
Well, they kind of look like the grid ones kind of look like the, I don't know if it's the same silhouette, but they look like the bodega. They kind of look like those. I'm guessing that they're, uh, this, yeah, the Saucony 3D grid. Isn't this the same? Yeah, 3D grid. Her, okay, so it's the same silhouette. Same silhouette, just a little bit different of a color option. For sure. I don't know why Hypebeast won't, won't open this. Hypebeast literally will not open on my computer. What is up? All right, guys, uh, we're about seven minutes away. Sometimes they do put the, the raffle up a little bit early. Anyways, I, ca I can't pull up those other ones, but um, the Bodega collab ones, but um, I had them up a little while ago. Uh, there, there you can kind of see them. It's just a smaller picture. Right here, just for some reason, my my pictures aren't loading up. Um, all right. Um, let's go ahead and um, hop on over to CCS. Let me just go ahead. Uh, we got about four minutes or so. Uh, you just want to be checking uh, that the Survey Monkey link is not in the. There will be a link up here, and it'll be a Survey Monkey link, guys. Uh, once that goes live, then then we start. Filling everything out, okay? Uh, let me go ahead and um, flip my account right here. Um, let's go ahead. Da, 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 da. All right, did we get any new shoes? Um, well, we got a on-the-foot look at the born and raised, some of my faves right here. On your turf. You guys are all welcome on my turf. You guys are all welcome on my turf, but we're going to wear these. We're going to all be fitted in these bad boys. There we go. 2024. Hey, born and raised only. Oh, man. Going to be the year of the SB this year. I'm feeling it. Um, these ones, Air Max Day, the Scorpion. I don't know. These look comfy as hell. Uh, you know, they're kind of ugly in my opinion. Uh, there's still something about them that kind of looks like maybe standing for long periods of time won't be so bad in these bad boys. Look like a little balloon on the bottom. Little balloon on the bottom. Of course, we already got the look of these jaws. Oh, man. I just need his, like, his Grizzlies colorway. I wish that would have been, like, the OG colorway. Like definitely, I mean, we don't play off the Grizzlies a lot, right? All right, let's go ahead and pop on over here and see what else we got going on. All right, we're about four minutes away. We're about four minutes away. Uh, sweatsuits dropping next Tuesday. Denim Tears sweatsuits. And there we go. That's what I was talking about. I'll take a denim. I'll take a sweatsuit. Top and bottom, baby. Onesie. We going all in. We going all in. There we go. Survey Monkey should be up, baby. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, we're uh, just any minute away. Any minute away. Future out there rocking the Burberry quilted Yushanka hat. Out there getting litty. Turning it up. Shit. Hey, shit. He should have the Grinches on with that one. We got the Kuziko Air Force One mid. This one looking like you're going <laughs> to, like one of those checks is going to uh, peel off. I think Drake bought, I think Drizzy bought all of Pharrell's old jewelry. Uh, all of his jewelry went up for auction. I was kind of wondering who's going to buy all of it, honestly. But it looks like Drizzy bought every damn piece. So yeah, definitely uh, Jiggy. Definitely send uh, send the, uh, the the Nikes back. Send the Drakes back. Send the Air Drakes back for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 
Jingles got to send those back, my boy. Was it Jingles or Jinx? I can't remember, but yeah, you guys sent them back. I'm not feeling that Joe Fresh good new Vans he was teasing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think I see him. Uh, Jose, hey, what's happening, my boy? Jose, hey, and welcome to the chat. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, here, let me um, go ahead and put uh, our Discord. Uh, once again, when we're not streaming, uh, perfect place to show off your drip picks. Uh, also, show off your Ws. Uh, we do put links in there as well. Uh, it is free. Uh, we're trying to grow the community. We are a brand new sneaker channel on our way to 7K. We'd love to have you guys a part of the community, both in the Discord and, of course, here on YouTube. Let me go ahead and uh, put that link uh, up for you guys as well. Um, let me go ahead and uh, pop on out here. Um, and then I'll, I'll pin it on the top. Uh, once again, guys, we're about two minutes away. Uh, two minutes away from the top. There we go. All right, two minutes away from the top. Um, we got some new drip picks. Mm, we got smoke. We saw, um, yeah, I saw, I think I saw this one yesterday. Uh, Smokey got the Chicago twos. Dripped out, man. He was on DSN all weekend. My boy. Oh, man. My boy, Lito. Oh, man. He busting out the traps again. Let's go on dead stocking. Don't you have the yellow pair too? Didn't I see you with the yellow pair on one time? Fire. Um, what do we got? Any big dubs here um, last night? I'm going to be refreshing. I'm going to go ahead here, guys. CCS. Um, we're refreshing. Uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's right. Uh, that was J-Rock. Um, congrats on those. Oh, man. I still need those black canvas. I still need those black canvas fours. Speaking of. These bad boys. That could be a late pickup. All right. Um, all right, guys. Any minute. Uh, any minute now, uh, the link should go live. Uh, we shouldn't have about. All right. It is live, guys. It is live. It is live. All right. Here we go. Uh, where do you buy them off CC? Hey, Big Shaq, my boy. Let's get it. Shaq a lego. A bong, honky tonky. You know it. Um, yeah, we're, we're over on CCS. You're just going to want to go ahead and click on this. Uh, click on the link there. Oh, man, it might not take me. Okay, and then now we got to... Now we're going to have to answer a couple questions. We only have five minutes to do this, so um, let's go ahead and answer it. Let's go ahead and answer it. Um, I, I need my phone here. I need my phone for the trivia. Need the old trivia. Uh, they they were all sold out at uh, Atmos. Uh, both of these did sell out at Atmos. Um, let's go. Question number one: What's the world record for highest ollie on a skateboard? All right, and the answer is um, forty-five inches. What's the record for the highest ollie on a skateboard? Number one is 45 inches. Uh, what is the largest skate park in the USA? Um, that's going to be um, somewhere in Tampa, maybe? The Loridson. Uh, that is going to be uh, the third one down. Loridson. So answer number one, 45 inches. Answer number two, Loridson. How many stairs make up the legendary El Toro set? Dude, that's got to be 99, right? 5, 10, 15, 20. Either, I, I think 24. But hold on, hold on. El Toro. Uh, 20. 
Okay. How many stairs make up the legendary old Toro? 20. It's going to be the last answer. All right. F number one, 45 inches. Number two, Loritzen. Number three, 20. Uh, El Toro, fire, fire spot. I definitely, I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make it halfway. I wouldn't make it over 10 of them, but. <laughs> hey, man, I'd go film over there. Uh, what is it called when you push on a skateboard uh, with your your front foot? That's going to be called Goofy. That's going to be called Goofy. Same when you snowboard. There we go. Um, I'm a nine and a half, baby. I'm a nine and a half. What is it called when you push on a skateboard with your front foot? Is that Mongo? I did not know that. Um, I thought we call that Goofy, no? Or that, that's Goofy Stance. With your front foot. Pushing Mongo. Oh, man. So, yeah, I always call it fakey. I might have been calling it, or not goofy. Yeah, I call it fakey, or goofy foot or fakey foot. Okay, Mongo, guys. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Isn't that uh, snowboarding? We call it fakey, right, or goofy. I think we call it goofy foot in snowboarding. Right foot forward. All right, nine and a half. Uh, there we go. Let's get her filled out so we get her in there. Uh, once again, the answers are going to be, uh, the last one is uh, Mongo. I appreciate you guys. What's the world record for the highest ollie? 45 inches. Uh, largest skate park is Loridson. S how many stairs make up the El Toro? 20. Uh, what is it called when you push on a skateboard with your front foot? Mongo. Um, and then nine and a half. So is the Mongo foot different than if I would ride with my, my opposite foot forward? Is that still called fakie or not? Or is that just in snowboarding, maybe? Is that just in snowboarding? All right. Yeah, I, I must be thinking about... Here, I'll find out in one second. Maybe they they switched it up on me. Maybe I'm so goddamn old, they... I got, termi <laughs> I got terminology from the wrong decade. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, come on, G Mac, get yourself together. All right, all right. Oh no, there we go, baby. All right, we're Gucci. We're Gucci, guys. Oh man, there we go. All right, we're good. We're good. All right. Um, yeah, that's got to be called fakey. Uh. Your um, there we go. Um, All right, all right, guys. Uh, I believe there's only five minutes or so to enter, so you get, you, uh, you only have a couple seconds to get in there. Um, so yeah, regular foot and then goof. So is it still called a goofy foot, right, on a skateboard? Like you know how like uh, like I'll I'll usually ollie and do tricks, you know, with my strong foot. The other foot. So pushing is called mongo. Pushing is called Mongo, but it's still it's still called Goofy, right? Like if I would land a trick, like if I would do a one eighty flip, I would be landing still Goofy. They they right? They're the same. Yeah, I I just was uh was wrong with the with the kicking. I got to get my terminology up to date here. Um. All right. Uh. There we go. It might just be in snowboarding. Might just be in snowboarding. 
There we go. You're an idiot. Thanks. Yeah, I can be. I can be. I definitely, I definitely snowboard and skate. I've just never, I've, I've never, well, A, I don't kick with my front foot. I don't even think I can kick with my front foot. It'd be too, I'd be too uncoordinated. I can't ride, like, I can ride a snowboard uh, goofy, but I, I, I can't, like, do anything on a skateboard. Like, I can't do any tricks, like, all laying off, off my opposite foot. I'm, I just can't. I can only do it one way. Uh, pushing mongos when you push with your uh, front foot instead of your back. Uh, if you're regular, uh, pushing with your leg. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely can't push with, and if you're goofy, Oh, pushing with your right foot. Oh, man. Uh, right? CCS is a joke. Um, all right, Lido. All right, my boy. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. Yeah, I haven't gotten a dub over on CCS uh, yet uh, either. Uh, we get a lot of dubs. I just got one on Premiere. Uh, we do see a lot of dubs over on the, the Premiere side of things, but might as well just enter, you know, just... Uh, you know, it doesn't hurt, I guess. Definitely doesn't hurt. Um, especially, like, if you don't have a local skate shop near you. You know, it's we don't get a lot of places that will actually ship out. You know, so. Uh, however, if you are blessed with a, a local SB shop, Tier 0 or Tier 1, definitely go hit them up. Stop in. Uh, say what's up. Chop it up. Uh, they uh, have been getting, um, you know, full size runs, uh, both colorways there. Uh, some of the shops did not raffle them off. Instead, uh, they're just dropping them in store. Uh, they also got that Adobe color uh, as well. Sneaky question. That that was. <laughs> fooled me. <laughs> but it doesn't take much to fool me, right? Heck, yeah. Hey, that's what, hey, that's what we're here for, right? No kidding. We're, we're teaming up. We're teaming up. All right. Uh, over uh, over here. I uh, think that is uh, going to do it, guys. I uh, want to know how many people pick Goofy not knowing. I, I would like to know that question. I, I would. It would have been me. It would have been me for sure. Yeah, I had to double look it. Like, I, you know, at first I was like, what? You got it. Which which kind of which kind of makes me wonder how many I've gotten wrong on the last question before. <laughs> Probably just a ton. Cuz sometimes they feel too easy, right? Oh, the El Toro though. I got to come out to Isn't isn't the El Toro location in Long Beach? Oh, I wouldn't be able to do anything on there. Oh, I'd kill myself. Uh <laughs> El Toro steers. Yeah. Hey man, when we come out in and when we come out uh to the California area when we're on a road trip. Yeah, we're going out there. Oh, it's in it's in uh Lake Forest, California. Lake Forest, California. <laughs> Vlaco goes, it was automatic. <laughs> I'm out here grinding the gears in my damn manual control. <laughs> Hot damn. Come on now. It's just the gears grinding. All right, guys. Um, I think that is uh, going to do it for today. Let me just go ahead and uh, hit the uh, quick uh, board right here. Um, da -da -da -da. Yeah, nothing new over there. Went over everything. Let's go ahead and hit refresh over here. I uh, think we should be good unless uh, anyone else has anything else uh, they wanted to add. Of course, uh, tomorrow going to be hump day, uh, that middle of the week drop, uh, which is going to be for some, not for everybody. Uh, it's going to be that plaid dunk low. Of course, those are going to be going down on the uh, regular Nike app uh, in the morning. Uh, same time tomorrow, uh, and then on Thursday, of course, we start heating up. Uh, we get into the brick and woods on Thursday, and also it'll be day three of uh, the three drops over on Nike. On the back end, though, shockers up. We'll be waiting for those Jackie Robs. 
Uh, we'll be waiting for those Jackie Robs, see if they pop off anytime this week. Of course, if you don't already have uh, your name in the raffle over on the Sheik app for the Lost and Founds, uh, you still got about another two days. I believe the uh, raffle uh, ends on the 19th. Uh, you want to go ahead and make sure uh, that you guys are entered uh, into the raffle for, of course, uh, the Lost and Founds. Uh, then let's go ahead and pop on over to end. Uh, we'll end the stream. Uh, over here on end, uh, let me go ahead and pop over um, to uh, Alma Minier. I don't think they put anything up. I think they got the Jordan 5s up there now. Uh, APB store, Alma Minier, and social status. Uh, they, they do have the 5s up. Uh, and I uh, got a couple of the New Balance boots. Got that Jordan 5 uh, dunk on Mars. Uh, once again, I'm over on end. Uh, they got all the Salehi Benberry Crocs. Those are going to be, or not Crocs, sorry, uh, Clarks. Uh, going to be dropping on Friday. Those are up on end as well. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the SNS app, uh, see if anything. Uh, then I saw you guys type Mongo. I reread the question. <laughs> I skimmed through the question automatically, selected so Goofy Flock. That's what I did. That's what I did. I was going, I was going to to submit, and then Vu caught my attention, and I had to like double, triple, quadruple look, and oh yeah, I was completely wrong. I was completely wrong. Hey man, we got the A team in here though. You don't have to worry about anything once you get into the chat here. You're Gucci. You make it in here, you're Gucci. Uh, yeah, we got the Anderson Bell A6. These ones actually kind of look hard in the paint. Uh, those ones up uh, on SNS, two colorways of uh, those collabs. Uh, and then they got that, um, yeah, a couple A6, A6 collabs on there. Uh, they also got the Saucony Bodega coming up. Uh, that is going to be over on SNS. Uh, let's go ahead here and hit feature. Uh, we are going to see some of those Jordan 5s pop up, uh, whether it's JD, uh, Foot Locker. Uh, we'll see those uh, coming out. Got another colorway of the Salmon. A couple colorways of the Salmons. Um, and then we got a collab with the Adidas Supernova and Iraq. Uh, got some more colorways of the A6. And then uh, all four colors of that protection pack uh, over there on feature. Uh, that is about... About it right there. Um, I'm trying to get open uh, APB just to check. Pushing Mongo. Pushing Mongo, pushing with the front foot. Hey, I might have to go practice that. Hey, not only the terminology, but actually pra practice it on the skateboard. Um, on all my manure, they got that Rainier, that uh, New Balance boot. Um, of course, those are kind of sprinkled out there as well. They got the Air Force One, and then uh, they got the old Zoom Vimero. I'm telling you, Nike. Mikey's going to be drowning us with the Vimeros uh, this year. But, um, yeah, I'm waiting for a collab on that, baby. Uh, but, yeah, that is about, uh, I think, going to do it for today, guys. Uh, that'll do it for the raffles. Uh, oh, the Joe Fresh Good Vans. Uh, before we say goodbye, one more thing. Joe Fresh Good Vans. Another pair of Vans. You know I like my Vans. Vans will make you dance. Sugar will make you hit the pants. Ooh, well, I don't like, I don't like highs. I don't like any of the Vans highs. I mean, I, I just don't wear them. Um, but I like that color. You know, I got the pink ones. I got the pink ones. Actually, they've been on the floor for like a month uh, behind the couch. I was going to try them on with a fit, and I just never got around to it. I like the, I like the stitching. Of course, it's not in that Chanel um, that Chanel diamond stitch in, but it's in a square. I don't know. I don't know. I, I definitely like this cardigan. I don't know. I'm pretty big on the Joe collab, so I, I, right now I'd probably cop it. 
Just looking at the heel. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully they come in a low top. Hopefully they'll come in a low top. But maybe that that quilted pattern, maybe it looks really good on a little bit, you know, higher of an ankle. Uh, but with that said, yeah, I think uh, I think that'll be I think that'll do it for uh, today. If you guys don't have uh, anything else, uh, again, everyone, thank you so much. Uh, for tuning in today. Don't forget to hit that thumb button on your way out. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Keep those notifications on uh, just in case we get a shock drop or we get a restock and I'm not allowed to post or anything. Uh, it definitely gives you an extra layer of protection. Uh, don't forget to, um, if anyone is not a part of our Discord, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the Discord link. Sorry, I thought I already did that. Um, let me go ahead and uh, put the Discord link in the chat for anyone uh, that is not a part of the Discord. Once again, it is free. Uh, we're growing the community. Would love to have you guys a part of it. Uh, let's go. Um, there we go. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, here is the link uh, to the Discord. Yeah, another great place, too. If you're good at throwing down, throwing down those slam dunks, we got a lot of we got a lot of good people in the chat willing to throw that ollie loop to you so you can just slam it down. Uh, any kind of drop willing to give you the assist. So uh, we will be back in the morning. As you guys know it, uh, Discord link there uh, is in the chat for anyone uh, that is just getting here. Uh, once again, I will pin that on the top uh, if you are wanting uh, to join the Discord. I will see you guys uh, either in the Discord or I will see you guys tomorrow. No drama, just commas. It's been your boy, J-Mac. Woo-woo. Until the next one. Love y'all. Take it easy. Peace, peace. Woo-woo. Put in my time on the TV, it coming in soon. I couldn't leave it all up to a very